I quit coffee, by the way. I, I would join you guys, but. <sighs> so good. Caffeine. Uh, any, any caffeine. I'll do a Red great. Bull. I'll do a coffee. I'll do Coca-Cola. I'll do anything caffeine. Yeah, but, you know, Need you don't it. know this about Sean. Sean's given up coffee, alcohol, weed, sex. Mm, that wasn't by choice, though. The last one was not <laughs> <Yeah>. by choice. <laughs> that was involuntary. He's like, he's becoming a Mormon yeah. for no reason. He's just becoming a Mormon. I'm, all, I'm running. I'm doing push-ups. He's preaching the Lord. He'll I, come up to my bedroom door and knock and just be like, have you heard of Jesus Christ or Lord, Lord I accept the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart. Have you seen the Mormon documentary, the Latter-day Saints thing? No. It's fucking wild. It's insane. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, they're like, oh, we have, like, eight wives, you know, whatever. And I'm like, all right, that sounds cool. That sounds pretty chill, honestly. Mm -hmm. like, it it's kind of gangster. It's kind of tight. Yeah. But then they're like, and they're all 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's not, that's not, it was cool a minute ago. The worst is when the lady goes, she goes, oh, yeah, the the leader of the, the sect, right? He comes up to the girl, and he'll shake their hand, and he'll do, like, a, like a secret, like, pump to her hand. Mm -hmm. And that means you're going to be the next wife. Mm -hmm. So she's like 12, what? 13. The guy shakes her hand, does the pump, and her dad starts crying. And she goes, oh, he's crying because I have to marry this old guy. And he was like, whippy, my no, daughter so got stoked. chosen. They're so yeah. stoked. They're like, thrilled. yes. He was thrilled that, yeah. Please fuck my daughter. Like, they're <laughs> yeah, so yeah. stoked about it. That's the craziest part is, like, they're all, like, and, like, they they had, like, things where, like, the guy would go to trial yeah. for, like, fucking 12-year-olds. And then all the Mormons showed up. To support him. Yeah. <laughs> to be like, what? What's the problem? What's wrong? Because there's still laws. <clears throat> yeah. Or well, the laws are like lenient. Yeah. I believe in that. Because it's also, it's like if the parent agrees. Yes. There's like some the, consent. Oh, if the parent like, allows you have to it. sign this thing. Yeah. 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 Something. 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 That's crazy. That would be crazy if you're just, I, if you're just 12, you know, imagine like young Neil, young Sean, young Tony. Mm -hmm. We're 12 building like a little Lego spaceship. Mm -hmm. And then your mom walks in and goes, hey, you know Frank, the 76-year-old guy next door? Yeah. You're sucking his dick for life now. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. <laughs> and then and their parents are like, your dad's like, yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! We did Suck it! We made it! We yeah. fucking made it! Yeah, put this makeup on, bitch. Yeah. Put the makeup He's on. He's downstairs taking shots with Frank. Like, <laughs> Neil, great mouth. <laughs> oh, amazing. You're gonna be so pleased. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm giving you Tuesdays. Yeah. yeah, that's that's crazy. And then did you see the Amish thing? No. no. That shit fucked me up. So I watched this Amish documentary because I was like, ha ha ha, Amish people. Yeah. yeah. LOL, Amish. They don't use electricity. Yeah. And I turn it on. It's like, everybody rapes everyone. <laughs> and I was like, no, what about like the butter turning and the stuff? They're like, then we get raped. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Jesus. Someone's in the in the fucking bowl while yes. they're turning the butter, getting raped. I, I don't yes. know, guys. What, what would you do? You can't microwave your hot pockets. Yeah. You get angry. You're just going to rape instead? <laughs> It's friction. It's warm, I yeah. guess. But it's heat. But it was like the brothers, the dads, the uncles, the cousins. Like everybody just raped. At least it's a family thing. It is a family. That's thing. my thing. It's like I knew least. there was familial fucking in there, and that's oh, yeah. and that's was the funny part to me. That's what I was like, ha ha ha. They're all fucking each other, but it's not consensual. Do they have a sheriff? <laughs> do the Amish have? Sh do they have guns? Can the Amish use guns? I don't. I don't think so. Or is that is that considered technology? I don't know. I don't. I think they can use guns. Do they have to have no, like wood, wood, wooden guns, I, like slingshots? Because it's not electricity. They can use mechanical stuff. We're gonna find out right now. Like they can use. Yes, the Amish are able to own guns. Yeah, because oh, it's because it's uh, it's not a machine. It's not run by electricity. It's not electricity. Yeah. Is that a religious? I don't. Mm -hmm. I never understood. Like, is it a religious? It's a religious thing. thing yeah. Like electricity is like the devil. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's funny when That's you, crazy. when you go to the, those towns where the Amish live amongst like regular people mm -hmm. like you'll just be driving to i've seen those guys yeah, yeah yeah. i went to pennsylvania i saw those yeah. guys and i was like ha 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 and now i'm like holy rapist. shit yeah those are rapists that makes a lot more sense dude you'll just be driving <laughs> oh to, my god you'll just be driving to walmart and then you're trying to get over in the left lane and there's just like a, a horse and a buggy with four amish guys on it and they're just like good why day. do amish dude. people rape so much <laughs> yeah that's because they look like that <laughs> Dude, yeah, I mean, that's the one I saw, Sins of the Amish. That's the name uh, of the documentary I saw. And my girl and I literally thought it was going to be hilarious. Yeah. And it was the saddest shit I've ever the seen in my life. The craziest thing is, the craziest thing is, it seems like a lot of, like, religions with, like, strict rules mm -hmm. are kind of bad. Yeah, well, it's not <laughs> that they're kind of bad. They're, like, all set up to 
fuck kids. Yeah. Like, there's not, yeah. like, one strict religion that's like, oh, we don't fuck kids. Oh. You know, we're just, we just don't, you know, we're just like, you can't do that. You can't drink. You can't whatever. But, well, you know, fuck adults. Yeah. They're all like, and then we fuck kids. <laughs> it's insane. I think it's funny to picture, like, four Amish guys with guns. That's like, a f and like driving through the desert. Oh, it's yeah. It's like a fucking... That's what they do, man. That's wild. It's like a terror. They're like terrorists. Yeah. It's yeah just, they're just much. going out there and they're like religious terrorists. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to like kind of like the Amish. I was yeah. kind of like, that's cute. And now mm. I'm like terrified. And then you you hear of <clears throat> Rumspringa, which you're like, oh, it gives the people a chance. Do you know what Rumspringa is? Is that like a week where you get to use electricity? No, when you're 16, what they do is you could go in the real world, drink. Go to concerts, you know, live a life of a normal, like a, of a sinner. Mm -hmm. And then you decide after like that week if you want to come back to the colony or you want to. That's go pretty tight. Look at that girl smoking a J right there. Yeah, she yeah, ain't yeah. coming back. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't coming back. She's like, fuck that. But the crazy thing is they use manipulation where they, they say if you go out in the real world, they're just like, you fucking done. You can never see us again. Right. At They'll 16, excommun they excommunicate you yeah. for like dumb shit. For like Jesus crazy shit, Christ. like what? What are you doing on an iPad? And then you're excommunicated yeah. forever. You on Facebook? Yeah. Imagine you can never see your parents again because you play Bejeweled. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like playing Candy Crush. Yeah. Like, ah. Dude, well, I was I grew up next to a, a creationist. Was my one of my best friends. Yeah, and a, he had a lot of those like ideas in his head, man. Where it was like, I I was remember I, I remember this yesterday. I was on a run, I was like hanging out with him when I was we were young. We were playing hockey, mm -hmm. like street street hockey. And I did this thing with my arms where I like waved my arms mm -hmm. and the shadow, it looked like I had squiggle arms, mm -hmm. right? And then my, my uh, creationist uh, friend was like, stop doing that. Stop it. That's scary. What are you? <laughs> Oh, you thought, thought you were demon because of your shadow? Yeah, like I could like fucking change my change shadow. You're a shapeshifter. Yeah, I was a shapeshifter. You're Slender Man all of a sudden because you're like, ooh. And he's like, stop. And I'm like, what do you want? That's why. Where'd you grow up? Uh, Silk Bay Area, Silicon Valley. And there were creationists in, in the Bay Area? This must have been the only creationist yeah, in the Bay Area. That's why I'm confused. So I'm from Georgia. I'm sure I didn't run into any of them. Yeah. So that's, that's weird. So his dad worked at Lockheed Martin. Mm -hmm. And so it was like mil mil that's, military family. So he was mm -hmm. a creationist and a destroyer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I believe God created everything. And I believe my company will destroy yeah, half the I, world. He also created the housing bubble. <laughs> no, this guy was crazy because like, I also remember this other thing where I was uh, telling him about Russian roulette. I was explaining Russian roulette to him. You're trying to get him to kill himself? On our front, basically. <laughs> Damn, like, dude. Like, look. <laughs> but, like, he's really into the military and fucking missiles and death. And I was like, mm. how do you not know about Russian roulette? <laughs> and so I was explaining. I was like. That's the game of, like, of weapons training. I know. That's Have you seen Deer Hunter? That's <laughs> amazing. And so I'm, like, halfway through explaining. I'm like, you put one bullet in the revolver. Do you spin it? You close, close it. You put it to your, and then my, the dad bursts through the front door and cuts me off. He's like, don't tell my son about Russian roulette. <laughs> I'm like, there's way worse stories in the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> like you're going to teach your son the Bible, but you're not going to tell him about Russian roulette. like a chi child's Pretty play mild. Yeah. Compared to yeah, like, and gonna... then this guy kills his brother and lies about it. <laughs> yeah. Or the, the dad gets told by God to kill his son. Yeah. Just as a bit. Yeah. <laughs> ah, just kidding. JK. Psych. Nah, man, I just want to know you were cool, bro. Yeah. Have you realize, like, those super religious people, like creationists or, like, super Catholics, they love pants with a lot of pockets. Cargo pants? Oh, yeah, they religious love religious people. I didn't know yeah. this. Cargo pants see, and super polo t shirts. Catholics. No, this is the Pope. I don't no, the families, though. The family. Type in uh, pants. Super Catholic pants. Pants, yeah. Oh, those no, are dude, those are sexy. Oh, yeah, it's, there's a cargo. Yeah, I see. It's I see. the cargo. Is that style? Like, I have Jehovah Witnesses in my family. In your family? Mm -hmm. Door to door? The door to door. Wow. Yeah. We never knew when their birthday was. Never any. They were the, my favorite family members. They were fun. My mom would always do a thing where she would have, like, copies of the Bhagavad Gita, like, our thing. Mm -hmm. And, like a, like, a little paperback. She just had, like, stacks of them we would get from Temple. Yeah. And when Jehovah Witnesses would come, she'd give them that and be like, all right, I'll read your book. You read mine. Then we'll discuss. Oh, that's dope. And they would oh. never come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, She played by right. other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, my grandpa, my grandpa hated other religions. He was Catholic, God-fearing Catholic. He goes, Catholicism got me back from Vietnam and Korea. So that's the religion I'm sticking with. 
You know, as I'm getting older, I, I, it's, it, this is going to be like very counter to everything we've said, but I'm starting to like appreciate religion and see that like there is benefit to it, but it's just extreme of anything is fucking insane. Yeah. You know, but he, like the Mormons would show up to the house and knock and my grandpa would just get his gun and he goes, I already have a God in here. And then they're like, all right. And Yo. then they would walk. Yeah. Is this he, here in Texas? Uh huh. In oh, San Antonio, yeah. That's Texas. That's so legal. He would literally, That's like, the, he would they, just, no, yeah. he would just go, I already have a God. He goes, You're disturbing my football watching. And yeah. And they would just walk away and goes, and he goes, that's how you get that's how you get rid of those freaks, Tony. Like, yeah, if yeah. the cops can't they be like, why don't he cock a shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> he should have cocked it twice. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. yeah, they don't play out here, man. <laughs> yes. That's what happens at Chili's here in Texas. If they get like your order wrong, you just go I didn't I'll order that. Some, no, rant extra ranch. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, on yes, the sir. house. Sir. On the house. On the house, sir. That's um, crazy. So you're getting religious now? No, I'm not getting religious. I just like see benefit as I'm getting older of like I I used to be because I grew up Hindu, right? And my parents were like very devout Hindus, and I was like, "Fuck you, Dad! I'm not believing in an elephant that flies." <laughs> yeah. it's so, it's so much, I, I love punk rock Hindu. Yeah, I was like a punk Anti, rock. Yeah. yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, I was like a punk rock Hindu, and it's so funny because like you know when uh, you know when like Christians or Catholics are like I don't believe in God, I'm like I don't believe in a monkey and, you know, like, that's blue and has eight. I don't believe it. It's so easy to not believe in that. It's so easy to not believe in that. Like I, I know I'm gonna get if you post this online, I'm getting death threats yeah. from everyone in India. Yeah. But like seriously, it's so easy. Like have you seen anything? That looks like that. Anything, like anything close to hey, that. Hey, go to a dive bar in Austin. Three women look like that. <laughs> actually, that's a bachelorette party. Yeah, actually. that's a bachelorette party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that Christine? That's Christine, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it was so easy for me to not uh, believe in it, and my parents gave up pretty quickly. They gave up. They're like, yeah, yeah, all right, I guess, yeah, no one looks like that, you know, like so. You know, they they gave up pretty quickly, and they were just like, just tell people you're Hindu, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, go to that blue thing. That she used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. The one on that, yeah. What is that? Um, that could be the goddess of darkness. Ooh. Um, and my parents would like the, the scare me with that. Neridima was her name. Hindu That's kind of hot. Is I'm it hot? In, no. Yeah, you trying to no no. I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. to fuck on her. What that tongue do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting murdered, by the way, for this. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are fine. You're white. They're like white people are crazy, but like they're gonna hear me be like, how dare he? I'm going to bomb his house. <laughs> <laughs> how could you do that? Are there Hindu extremists or like conservative Hindu? Yeah, Hindu Hindus don't play, man. They don't got freedom of speech out there. Which oh. is hilarious. Like, it's so funny because like I'll make jokes about Hinduism here, and then they're like, if you come to India, you're going to jail. And I'm like, what? And they're like, for this joke, I will show the cops this joke. You will go to jail. You know? And Holy so, like, shit. if you do a joke in India that's, like, anti-religious or anti-political, you can go to jail. And there was a comic recently. What? There was a comic recently who got set up. Like, they, they hired him for a private oh, gig. Shit. And they heard he did a joke. Yeah. And then, like, all the whole crowd was like, you said it. We all heard it. We <laughs> Everybody here heard him say that shit. And then he went to jail for, like... <laughs> For like six months, didn't tell the joke at the show. He just told it earlier and put it on YouTube. Oh, and he pissed they... so many people off that someone hired him for a private show. They're like, well, pay you five hundred dollars to do this show. That guy, yeah, they set oh. him up. They set him up. Can they I set just say up. though, Neil, that would be a great credit. Yeah, your next comedian spent six to eight months in Indian jail. <laughs> Neil, yeah. Nanda, dude. Yeah. But this kind of shit, I bet is he. What do you get? For what insulting you get? Hindu religious, religious sentiments and jokes. Yeah. He had allegedly prepared, although he did not appear in his set that night. He didn't even do them. The Muslim comedian is one wow. of many who had recently have been accused under a law that protects religious beliefs. Yep. Creators of the show Amazon streaming platform were charged last month with offending religious sentiments. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And he That's was one thing, dude. I think <clears throat> when, like, you see, like, comics Jesus. sometimes, mm -hmm. you'll see comics be like, America kind of sucks. Yeah, America. they'll be like, man, cancel culture. I'm like, the guy's in jail for being like, that blue guy's not real. That's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know? cancel culture. Like, I, I got shadow bound for an afternoon, and a clip that usually gets 100,000 views only got 85. Right. My life is ruined. And then you're just like, I, if well, I I'll, I'll say this about that stuff. Like, when it's a company doing it, I have no problem. When Instagram's like, hey, we don't like what that is, and we don't, we're going to shadow ban you or take 
it off or whatever. Like that's totally fair. When it's the government yeah. telling like that's a clue, like, that's exactly what's going on in India. It's the government mm. telling you you can't say something. Yeah. And like there was somebody who just won a court case. I don't know the guy, uh, but there was a guy who was banned from Twitter because the government was like, "Hey, Twitter, get rid of this guy," and because uh. he was saying stuff they didn't like. Yeah, Wednesday's uh, banned from Twitter. Mm. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, he was like a vaccine skeptic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he won. He won the case because the government told him that like, and he was like, that's against the First Amendment. And they're like, well, Twitter's a private company. He's like, it's not when the government tells you yeah. to get rid of me. If the government goes to Twitter and says, get rid of this guy. It, then, then, it's it's no longer, then it's no longer Twitter doing it. You but know? if it's, who's the CEO of Twitter? The Tim, what's his name? The guy with the nose ring? Jack Dorsey. Jack Dorsey. After he does a line of coke, and he just goes, "I don't like your face." That's yeah. fine. That's I'm okay fine. With that. That's fine. It's his company. It's his thing. You know, it's like you being at my party. I'm like, get the fuck out of my house. Like, dude, that's if fine. I own- but if the government came to my house, and was like, "Yo, Tony can't be here." I'd be like, "What? What's going on? What are you talking? Hey, is this Tony, legal?" I'm sorry, man. Like yeah, sorry, man. The gov- <laughs> Biden told yeah, me. Yeah, if I here. if I owned Instagram, there would be one guy that bullied bullied me in middle school. Anytime he posts a picture with his family, I would be like. Disgusting child abuse, and I would just like take all all his posts down. Wow, good thing you don't run Instagram. Just one yeah, guy, thing, yeah. one guy. He's a mechanic. No. Have you been shadow banned or anything? I don't know. I don't care. I I, I got it. I got it bad. Really? Yeah, I got it. Bad. It, this is, it was I got wild. a case of the I shadow ban. It was like mon- monkeypox. Yeah, dude, I was I was swelling up. Are you up. vaccinated? <laughs> no, dude. I, are you? Did you get the Instagram vax? Yeah, you should have gotten the shadow ban. I should have got the Instagram vax. No, I uh, I posted a bit about OnlyFans. It was a joke that I do about OnlyFans, and it's a very funny joke. It went very very well it started to go viral and stuff and then all of a sudden instagram was like nah and i was like why what's going on they're like you can't promote your only fans and i was like oh no i don't have i don't have an only fans and they were like this is sex work we don't promote sex work and i was like what what and they were like i was like no this is a joke about only fans and they were like nudity there's nudity they, that's what they say they're like nudity they one word nudity nudity that's what they told me I was like oh no but I don't and they you're were like, not naked in the joke I wasn't naked I put a I put an eggplant emoji in it and they were like that's nudity I was like eggplants are like actually dicks now that's great I did also, do I did do something a little nefarious where I put the eggplant <laughs> at my penis like I put the I like cropped it yeah, to but where my dick that's but that's not still nudity. not nudity also unless it, they think my dick is a big ass eggplant also <laughs> Hey, also Instagram, you do, you do hype up sex work. Oh yeah, the amount of girl like, <clears throat> dude, that's what bothers me is like then I girls. see people actually promoting their OnlyFans and they're fine. Yeah, and I'm like, I made a joke about it, and um, yeah, they were they took it down. Dude, I mean the thing like. What are you looking for? Sex work on Instagram? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I just am. type. <laughs> My algorithm's all fucked up. No, nah, man. So how long were you shadow banned for? Look at that. So yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Work. That's fine. But my yep, yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> she, if literally, you're just she literally it's... killed her sister by sitting yeah, on her face. That's murder and uh, sex work. <laughs> that's that's murder sex work. We're uh, using sex work to, to bring laughter. This bitch is killing yeah. people. So I got so what happens? They removed the post and they told me like, "Hey, you're banned and shit." And this is very distracting. Yeah, take uh, it down. <laughs> I can't talk and watch that. I was looking at you and then I saw the bump. Yeah, like, I was, like, butt, yeah. Like, so <laughs> I was um, shadow banned for. Um, so yeah, I got uh, so I got taken. down. Down and they gave me like these like you know warnings and shit and then I noticed like nobody could find my profile like when I would meet somebody at a show I'd be hey you're really funny can I follow you on Instagram I go sure I type in my name and I wouldn't come up and I was like that's really strange and then I would have to like go to someone that tagged me to find me and like it was like very difficult to get to my profile then I noticed all my clips and all my stuff was getting like a ten like ten percent of the views that I would normally get and I was yeah. like this is really strange. And then I kept like trying to be like, oh, how do I, like, I can't search myself. So I tried all these things. I tried appealing it. I tried doing, they were like, hey, try logging off Instagram for a week. And I tried that. And I was like, try this, blah, blah. I ended up just being like, do I know anybody that works at Instagram? And somebody was like, yeah, I work there. And I was like, oh, cool. Uh, I think I'm shadow banned. He was like, yeah, you are. And I was like, can, can you help me? He goes, sure. Like an hour later, I was done. I was back. Holy shit. That's it. That's how I got fixed. I literally just, I, what I did was I put out like a, a story. Yeah. And I was like, does anybody know anybody that works for Instagram? And one guy was like, yeah, I do. And then I just, e- I emailed him and he goes, yeah, I looked into it. They shout out Manny for that OnlyFans thing. I was like, you know, I wasn't promoting OnlyFans. He's like, yeah, I know, but sometimes they fuck up. 
you know? Wow. wow. And like, so you just went to like the elders of Instagram. Yeah, basically. Like, I was like, I, I went to the principal. the decision. <laughs> yeah, I like went, I like, I snitched. I was like, dad, please. You know, I went to like the principal basically. Um, and Neil Nanda has been forgiven. <laughs> yeah, I got unbanished. Well, <laughs> and I was, I actually listened to Mark Zuckerberg on Joe Rogan and yeah. he was talking about this because I was like, I was like, oh, what are you going to say about this? Where? And he was like, you know, we have like a billion people. Even if we make a mistake 0.01% of the time, that's hundreds of thousands of people. Right. You know, and so he's like, and the guy at Instagram was like, oh, this was clearly a mistake. Like, they shouldn't take you down for this. This is not, you're not, there's no nudity and you're not promoting OnlyFans. So that they just fucked up. They just read the 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 oh. algorithm or the computer or whatever the system read the words only fans saw the dick emoji yeah and was like oh you think this this guy's trying to promote dude because it's know? crazy like i watched a documentary about the people that work for like facebook and instagram in like russia and india mm -hmm. oh they, the content review people yeah mm -hmm. and they like Bro, sit in front of a computer that. eight to ten hours a day and they just watch like beheading videos. Yeah. Like child porn will pop up and they have to be like, not good, not good, good. It's just like a two you buttons, what, good, bad. Yeah. You it, know what's really crazy is. is what I hear is that when something gets more traction, it gets flagged. Like this is like my, my so my clip got something like 50,000 views or something, the OnlyFans clip. And that's when it got taken down. It's because it was getting traction. And they're like, this might be inappropriate. But then there's a dude who will like post a picture of a gun and be like, I'm going to kill everybody. I fuck, fuck my school. And like it'll get four likes. And, and then like that guy will be a school shooter and they'll go, well, he posted on Instagram this thing. He got four likes. It should target things like that. It should target yeah. like images. It should tar target like the system's fucked up when we're when there's comics that like make a joke and then they're like, take that down. And then there's a guy like, I'm gonna shoot on my school, and they're like, that's fine. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. That's what bothers me. Is like I don't care that I got like whatever in trouble or shadow band or whatever. I'm just like, as long as it's working for other like actual dangerous shit, yeah. I'm cool with it. But when it's like this is this happened to me. This happened to Shulls. This happened to Giannis Papas. This has happened to so many comedians, and I'm like, I've never heard of it happening to a school shooter. Yeah, ever. you never heard of a school, you never shooter, heard of a school shooter like, damn, I got shadow banned, Yo, dude. Yo, man, look at my IG, bro. What what the fuck? What the fuck? You can't what, search my IG. Then he puts out a story. Type in my IG, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm shadow banned. Yeah, could you guys like this so it gets like? Uh, By the way, if you like this, uh, honestly, don't go to school tomorrow. Because Neil, Neil, if they got a lot of likes. If the school should have got a lot of likes, he probably wouldn't shoot yeah, up the school. Yeah, he'd probably he'd be, be like, like, never mind. Oh, they actually like me. <laughs> That's enough dopamine for today. Yeah, I'm Thank good. you. That's true. No, but I think you're right, dude. Like, uh, the whole idea of, like, um, well, what I, in my opinion, you know, like, you have all these tech companies and they're, yeah, when people call it censorship, I agree. It's not censorship mm -hmm. unless, you know, it's a, a case where the government mandates mm -hmm. Twitter to, to take someone yeah, it's off not, the platform. Yeah, it's not censorship, but it's not perfect. Yeah. It's not censorship, but it's not perfect. And, and it's because I, when I got in trouble, I didn't violate any rules. So that's what bothers me. It's like, hey, I played by your rules. I didn't show nudity. I didn't promote sex work. I didn't do any of that stuff. I made a joke about OnlyFans, which I learned is like OnlyFans is a thing that like you're not supposed to promote or like even talk about on social media. You're supposed to call it OF. Or you're supposed to like call it and you're supposed to call porn corn. Have you seen this? Yeah, you have to call it corn. You have to call it corn and you got to call OnlyFans OF or else you That's get... That's fucking like if crazy. You, if you put up a clip of this, like if you cut this up and you type out OnlyFans, it'll probably get either suppressed or taken down. Yeah. Wow. Because they're thinking that we're trying to promote like... Dude, dude look at Rocky. Money. Rocky Del Davis, buddy of mine. Mm -hmm. He had a clip blowing up and uh, he got shadow banned because he said white trash. Wow. And he's a redneck. And the whole wow. bit is about how. So it's he, like hate, it was hate speech yeah, or something? Hate speech. Yeah. And yeah, this whole bit thing. is about growing up white trash. I did. I have one about Hinduism that they took down for hate speech. Good. And I'm like, I'm Hindu. You know, yeah. but I know what happened there. There's a billion people in India. Mm hmm. 50 of them found out. They all started reporting me. And then, like, because there's a billion. Also, also an elephant has four yes, arms. so many arms, And a dude. nose. He can just, so <laughs> many yeah, arms. He's report, report, you. report, report. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got, like, six iPads. It's he crazy, goes, I dude. am real, Neil. Yeah. I am real. And they all have eight accounts. <laughs> I got eight, yeah, he's got eight accounts, dude. He's like, you know, and that, yeah, actually, some of the gods are, have, like, 200 names. <laughs> and they're just like. <laughs> they have Finstas. Yeah, they got the Finstas. Hindu god yeah. Finstas. Yeah. <laughs> Trap accounts just to hate on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, you know, but you look at like these platforms and like, 
Yeah, so you're right. I, it's, it's not perfect. And like in an ideal whatever fucking free market capitalist society, you'd be able to go to a competing platform that is better because you got fucked. Yeah. And they made a mistake. And so ideally, you should be able to be like, okay, Instagram, fuck you. I'm going to go I'm going to go to Instagram yeah. too. Yeah. And they're going to treat me better. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, you know. Instagram there's too just, sounds scary. The <laughs> sequel's yeah. always worse. It's never good. <laughs> it's just a guy. It's no, just a wall, I see it's a wall in like a, in a cavernous place where you just have to like fucking hammer a picture up there. <laughs> but no, I, I agree with you. I think that is, I think that's the major issue is that there's monopoly. Like there's only one Instagram. There's only one Facebook. There's only one Twitter. You know, there's only one YouTube. Mm-hmm. And they all do what they have a certain function. And there's nothing else that competes to it with it, you know? So yeah, in, a, in an ideal world, I'd be like, all right, well, Instagram doesn't fuck with me. I'll go here, yeah. you know? And yeah, but yeah. And there is true social. There, you can go on true no, social and never, never will I ever know. <laughs> Neil, no. the first Indian on true social. No, 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 <laughs> Neil? no, 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 no You want to no, go you. super viral? You want to no. go mega viral? <laughs> that, you want to get some yeehaws? What is, what is Odyssey? <laughs> Odyssey is, is a decentralized YouTube. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is like crypto cryptocurrency YouTube. They're getting sued by the SEC right now. Why? Because they said that their uh, library coin is a is a uh, security. Oh. So you got to pay for this? No, you don't have to pay for it. It's free. You can transfer Oh, but you over. make the in the coin. You you get tipped in that coin. I don't see the problem. Yeah, there's no, is no problem. They asked the them the SEC what should we do and then we'll give them an answer. Yeah, there's the crack because I I see what no I don't see what the SEC is doing I don't I don't understand it it's, well you can transfer all your YouTube videos to Odyssey by just putting in your email transfers mm-hmm. all over now your all your videos are on the blockchain the only problem is they're always on the blockchain mm. so there's no deleting that I think the problem is most YouTube creators you know are not going to understand blockchain they're like. I want to be po- surprised. I want to post my mom reacts videos. Right. <laughs> Is Bitcoin yeah. and stuff dying? Because I think we've gotten past the hype. Well, because I think a lot of bros lost a lot. I of don't. Money. I don't like to say it's dying because this this has happened before. This has happened before where and then, and then everyone was like, "Is it dying? I think it's yeah. dying." And then it just like went to sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. You know, so I don't like to say that because. Okay, I'm not saying Bitcoin's dying. What I'm saying is. I think the hype with the crypto all, hype, all the shit coins around Bitcoin is kind of dying. I, I agree. I think the scam artists are dying. I agree, but I also feel like this happens all the time, and then there's going to be hype again in, in two years. Yeah, like in a year and a half, it's going to be like, "Whoa, look!" again, you know, yeah. because that's what happens like every few years. I really wish. I remember I had a roommate in 2010, 2009, and when when uh, fucking Bitcoin was like five dollars. And he just bought a bunch, and I, he was like trying to convince me. He was like, "Dude, just buy some." And I was like, "Nah." He's like, just "Get one, see what happens." And I was like, "Nah." And now I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck." Yeah. Uh, we have a buddy, oh Philip, Gar- Philip Garcia. He bought a he bought drugs and pizza with Bitcoin back when it was like fucking eight bucks a coin. Yeah. And now he's like, he's like, I had like thirty coin. Yeah. And he he, he bought pizza and some and a sheet of drugs and. And now he's like, I would be really rich. Oh my god! You know, I know the uh, I know the founder of Ethereum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of uh, Vital. Yeah, Vitalik? Anthony. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Is it Vitalik? Vitalik. No, no, Aaron. it's the other guy. Uh, a- Anthony DeFarino or something. Type in Anthony Ethereum. Damn it! Not Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Edwards. Actually, Anthony Bourdain is uh, the found. He created Bitcoin. <laughs> Ethereum, Anthony, Anthony, yeah, Dion, yeah, this guy. This guy's one of the creators. Of, Sounds like a sweet guy. He came to one of my shows in San Francisco and uh, w- didn't tell me anything about him or his life. And we hung out and then he invited me to his crib. And I was like, is this guy trying to fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's going on? And then I saw his house. and I was like, holy shit. And it was before I knew what Ethereum was. This was a long time ago. Yeah. And I was like, what do you do? He's like, oh, I created Ethereum. And I was like, that doesn't sound oh, like an element. Like, I thought, it, I thought I was like, you a scientist? Did you discover an element? He like opens his head. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, what the fuck is this? And he's like, nah, it's like Bitcoin. I was like, oh, cool. And we keep in touch. Wow. You know? Yeah, we like text every once in a while. He's a wild boy. Yeah, he's really? a wild boy. Yeah. He has like a very like dark sense of humor. 
Yeah. And like he's and he's also he does a lot, I mean, I don't know if I'm a lot I guess I'll fucking say does a lot of cool drugs. Like wow. like DMT and shit, you know? Dude, I feel like a lot of I mean that's classic Silicon Valley. That would be funny if, if Ethereum stock just plummets. Plummets right now. <laughs> so like, yeah. yeah. Well he It's uh, gonna double. He offered me DMT actually. Uh, I've never done it. I've never done me DMT. Neither. I've always wanted to. That's great. And I asked him, I said, uh so it was like a night out in San Francisco. I went to his crib like during the day and he was like, If you want to do it, I got some uh uh, you know DMT and I was like well I got a show tonight and he was like then don't do it and I was like really he's like mm. yeah don't do it before show and I was like I was, it only lasts like 10 minutes he's like it'll change your day at least and I was like really and you'll you'll because you, during the trip you'll think about having a show and it might ruin the trip mm. you want when you do DMT you want your night to be done yeah that's what he was saying he's like yeah. you want to clear you he's like he's like next time you're just go plan like two or three days where you're not doing anything and just do it one night. F fucking this clown over here babysat us when we did DMT. And it was so funny. I wake up from my trip. Mm. And it's just Sean sitting across the living room from me. Just throwing up gang signs at me. <laughs> Yo. And our buddy our buddy Hassan was like, you should not do that. And I just started laughing. Was, Yo. Just, I was just trying just to fuck like, with him. Yeah. I can do the blood. But, the blood. But it's only like 10 minutes, right? Yeah, but it feels like it feels, it feels like a while. So he explained it to me pretty well, I think, because I, I heard like it changes you or like, it, you know, like change your perspective on shit. I was like, how? Like what? Like I was like, is it going to fuck up my reality? Whatever. And he goes. Remember that first time you got a blowjob? I was like, yeah. He's like, remember how that changed you? I was like, yeah. And he goes, it's like that. Mm. For me, it's it a was, good description. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Because I was like, now it makes sense to me. Because like before, people were like, it'll change everything. And I was like, I don't want like like to feel like I uh, change my perspective on life after doing a drug. It's not for like that. I think it's what's nice about it was like when I did it before I did it. It was just like. I had the weight of the world of like someone in like the mid twenties trying to figure out this comedy mm -hmm. game, all these, this dumb shit just piled mm -hmm. on me and it was just weighing me down. And then when you do DMT, it's like this weird perspective where you almost get out of your body mm -hmm. and you, you, you're floating through the universe. And it was almost like this, this perspective of, Oh, your, your problems mm -hmm. are so small yeah. compared to the grand scheme of things. Right. Like, yeah, your problems are important, mm -hmm. but Hey, it, fucking you don't have to like let it weigh you down right see i already feel that way and that's why like i've talked to my girl about it because i've always wanted to try to just curiosity uh -huh. and she's like you're not looking for anything you're not trying to yeah. find something you're not like in like having a midlife crisis or feeling like really fucked up or like you know like depressed or whatever she's like you're fine you have a good perspective so why would you want to yeah. do it and I was like, curiosity. That's it. It's yeah. the only only reason. I just want to like go to space and see these I fucking think, though, beings th and whatever. I think I think you should do it when you have a, like a crossroads mm -hmm. in life. I think that's when you should do it. Yeah. Wait for the right moment when you're like you have like a crossroads in life. Mm -hmm. and you're like I need an answer. I don't know. Like my my brain says I should do this, but my gut says I should do this. Right. Do it then. Yeah. yeah. Like I was at Raising Cane's and they're like, "Do you want to supersize yeah. your box combo?" And then I just go. I go. I go give me ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> no, I DRB. won't. I dude, a, it I, is crazy now though that people now have DMT pens mm -hmm. and are doing DMT in public. I've Wild. seen that. I've seen that. Way don't too don't much. you like kind of like pass sound a little? Yes. Yeah. And so if they're just do like three hits. You have to do three hits. Yeah, and they're like just nodding pass out. on heroin. But they'll yeah. do like two hits and they'll just be like, like just staring out. And I'm like, you, sh you're destroying your mind. That's wild. That's crazy. I do have a friend that did it and it was very beneficial for him. Do you know, uh, the Instagram account, Blake vapes or Blake Weber? I know oh, Blake yeah. Weber. Yeah, Blake yeah. Weber. So I talked to him about because he does it like not often, but he'll do it. Um, yeah, pull up his Instagram. He has like some like 3 million followers or something. Uh, yeah, this guy. And uh, he he was a comic and he was like doing well in stand. He was doing fine and saying at 1.7 million followers. Drake follows this guy. He's fucking hilarious, by yeah. the way. And um, he like. Uh, he was doing fine in stand up and he was like getting some stage time, or whatever. And then he said he did DMT and he was like, it told me to like dig into this character and like, you know, be, you know, express myself in this way. And he was like, I credit like my entire career to this trip. Wow. Because DMT he was like, like a good Hollywood agent. Yeah. Actually, actually Blake. <laughs> yeah. You should do more of the you character. Should lead <laughs> into this. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it was like, cause it was a thing where he was like, I was kind of dipping my toe into doing this thing. 
And then I was like, you know, uh, ah, should I do it? I don't know. And then he said, I did DMT. And I was like, go for it. Mm-hmm. And now he's like very successful doing this character. And then he, t- he told me, he was like, it changed my career. He's like, I did DMT Fuck. and it like, it told me, or like, he was like, it made me feel like just keep going in this direction. And I did. Yeah. And it's proved to be successful. Psychedelics can do that. Damn. Like I remember in college, first time I did acid, it was uh, during a time I was like seeing a girl. We were always on and off again. Just it was just wild, and I, I still had feelings for her. And mm-hmm. I was like, should I stay with her, try to fix the relationship, or should I just move on and work on myself? And it was like this cool, this cool moment. And it was like, just my emotions being like, hey man, she makes you feel like shit. Because mm-hmm. when I was tripping, I would think about her, and then the world would just turn black. Yeah. And then I would think about like, Oh, making films and doing stand up, And then the world would just light, lighten up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh, that's the path I need to take. And the Tarantino was it's there. Just beautiful. Like, like turn, make films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I, I think psychedelics though. I also think I've never been a psychedelics guy, but my personally. thing is, I, and I, what I'm worried about is we live in this, this era right now where, everybody's saying like you should do weed you should do psychedelics you should just fucking take all the drugs that aren't like given by the pharmaceutical people Mm -hmm. i agree with that but like some people should never do psychedelics yes there are some people that are like borderline schizophrenic or like borderline whatever dude or if you're an addictive personality right because i know people that did acid it was great like me i'll do acid twice a year Mm -hmm. i'll do it twice a year just like three times, four, five, <laughs> seven, times a year, no, 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 every no. day. No, I, 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 I give myself <laughs> once a day. I give myself at least six months to recover mm-hmm. because I've seen it firsthand of friends where we do acid. It's a great trip. And then the next week he's like, "Should we do it again?" I'm like, "I'm good," but they do it. See, I've just and heard then it becomes twice a week. Then mm-hmm. it becomes three times a week, and then a year later you can't even recognize that. You person. can't talk to them. I uh, I've heard too many horror stories. I had a friend in San Francisco who did acid, and then he just ended up in the hospital. I was like, what happened? And he was like, apparently I took all my clothes off and like ran into like some river, like yeah. like the lake. And then like a cop was like, what are you on? And he was like, I don't know. My heart's beating too fast. And the cop was like, we got to get this guy to the hospital. Yeah. And then he woke up, was like, what happened? And his girlfriend was like, you took all your clothes off and ran into that. You don't remember that? And he was like, no. I'm a, dude, lot of, a lot of people a, are dumb though. A lot of people take their clothes off when they're on acid too. Interesting. At least Is it like I, hot? Or? No, it, it's because it's well, you're scared. Dude, you... you like, uh, when I'm on acid and I look at my tattoos, they move. Yeah. They move, and, like, it feels like sometimes if you're having a bad trip, you might think, like, bugs are coming out of, like, your clothes and inside your skin. Yeah, see, I don't fuck with that. But my thing <laughs> is, I don't fuck with dude, that. But my thing is, what, what's wrong with people is they think acid is, like, a hit of, hit of a joint. Mm. And it's like, nah, man, this is going to, f- like, change your, your brain. And you're mm. going to visualize for 12 hours. Make sure... You're in a safe environment. Make sure you're around people you know. Because mm-hmm. I've had friends. Yeah, that's my issue with it. we're at a house party. Yeah. People just take it like it's nothing. Yeah. And then they're like, because um, everyone just says to do it. Yeah. And they take it in these like risky situations. Yeah. And it's I like, almost what did you- it on a, on a boat, on a cruise. No, and and my girlfriend oh. and my girlfriend talked me out of it. I, she wasn't there. I met your girlfriend. She's a good person. She's a good person. I, yeah. t- I texted yeah. her and I said, uh, I was on an EDM cruise. And uh, <laughs> I was performing on an EDM. Oh, cruise. okay. Uh, and uh, so I texted her. I was like, "Someone offered me acid. Should I do it?" And she's like, "You're on a boat." Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah." And she's like, "And you've never done acid." And I was like, "But I, time and place, you know. And you know, this is gonna be fun." And she's like, "Do you know anyone on there?" And I was like, "Kind of." And she was like, "Nah, don't do it." Yeah. And like, there were people that were like, like trying to jump off and stuff. And people were like, "Hey, dude, don't jump off." And I was like, "I don't have anyone to tell me that," yeah, you know. Yeah. I didn't have anyone to be like, hey, don't. If jump you would have done acid, you would have tried to find like a rock f- for the boat to hit, mm. just so you can reenact the ending of the Titanic. Titanic, get on that the, little. You know the three violinists. Oh hell like, yeah! This is our last song, but instead it's three DJs. Yeah, this is our last song. <laughs> 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 and I'm doing stand up like, hey, you got go, go, dating's weird. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did do Molly on it though, and apparently Molly's a psychedelic, which I didn't. I didn't know that. I thought Molly, because I don't... If you do enough, yeah. I don't, like, see things or trip out when I'm on Molly, you, you know? If yeah. you do enough, you have to do a lot. Mm-hmm. Molly's more of, like, an endorphin, kind of like your body just feels... Dude, I, I snorted it, oh. which is Ooh. wild. Because this is what happened. I, uh, I didn't want to do the whole pill. So I yeah. told the guy, I was like, hey, man, I don't want to do the whole pill. It's like, it seems like a lot. Like, I see you, 
And this yeah. guy was like feeling himself and shit. And I was like, I don't want to be there. Yeah. You know, but uh, how do I just do a little bit? Should I just break it up? And he goes, just snort a little, just snort a line. And I was like, all right, sure. So I snort a line and I'm on an EDM cruise. And like within seconds, I was like, I'm really thirsty. Dude, do you have any water? And he's like, no, dude. I was like, I got some in my room. So I start walking to my room and the hallway is like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just walking down the hallway like, <laughs> I go get water and then I go try to find the guy's room and I was like, nah, fuck it, I'm gonna party. And then I just go out and I'm partying everywhere and um, I was performing so I had like a VIP badge thing so I could get behind like where the DJs are. Yeah. So I went to every party that was going on. I went behind the DJ and I just hyped up the crowd. Dude. And I was wild and in my head, I thought everybody was on my level. Like, I thought, like, everybody's just fucking going ham. And then someone sent me a video, and it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and everyone's, like, on their, like, phones. Yeah, everyone's, yeah. And the people were like, what's wrong with that guy? Like, people must have known, but I, I have a video of it where I'm just like, <laughs> and then the whole crowd's like, what's wrong with this? You show it to the captain's deck, and you're like, I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, like, 2.30 in the afternoon. It's, like, daylight. Yeah, it's like, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Well, I think with, with Molly, you know, Molly's one of those drugs where it's like, you know, I've, I've researched this shit. I've never done it before, but when Sean, you're talking you about- you really know how to put the fun in drugs. <laughs> no, but I, so I'm sorry that I like to look at drugs, drugs objectively. Yeah, yeah, Okay, wow. and I, and like, because Molly- Anytime I do a drug, Sean's like, here's my Google spreadsheet about yeah. this drug. But it's, it's, <laughs> he's like, well, Wikipedia says. Well, no, no, I mean, yeah, you can Google the, 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 the You drug, can Google anything. The drug. Yeah. Yeah, and like Molly, so it's- you know, meth, um, it's an amphetamine. Yeah. You know, and so. Um, yeah, I hate, I've had it where it's cut with meth. And like, I was at Coachella one year and someone like gave me Molly. I was like, cool, no problem. And I had the Molly and then I came down from like, I, I it went up for like three hours. I was on Molly. I was having a good time. And then I came down and everyone was like, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean what's wrong with my face? And, and then I looked in a mirror and my face was. <laughs> and then I was like chewing. I was like. I was like, yeah, I think there was meth in there. <laughs> I, think, I think I just did Molly meth. A lot of drugs are just meth. Like a lot of Dude. drugs that, that get, you get sold as powders mm -hmm. are cut with I meth. I mean, it was or a fentanyl. pill. It was a pill. Yeah. So Honestly, I think you should have seen meth. Kid Rock on Molly meth. Kid Rock on Molly meth, mm -hmm. I think is the perfect combination. They just hear him out. Song. Kid, when yeah. he just goes, my name is Kid. You're just like, <laughs> yeah. And they just like hand it out to you at the concert. It's like, here, take one, please. Yeah. Give one to your mom. And so I don't know, like, and, but MDMA itself is an amphetamine. It's a mm -hmm. derivative of methamphetamine. And, a, and a lot, a lot of people that do Molly, they think it's like, you know, oh, it's chill, but, it, and it's, hey, honestly, pure meth, meth, pure methamphetamine is not bad. Like if you took medical. Well, you mean like, Adderall? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I take Adderall. Oh, I fucking love Adderall. Yeah. I love it so much. I mean, I can't be, I can't do comedy or be creative on Adderall. Right. But. Uh, Are you diagnosed? ADHD? I, I was in college. Okay. I was in college and uh, basically <laughs> my parents didn't believe in it. They were like, that's not good. And then I started getting like C's and D's and, and like engineering classes and shit. And they're like, try meth. <laughs> and, then I, and then I started getting A's and they're like, meth is good. Hey, have you have your kids tried meth? Breaking, breaking, it's amazing. Yeah, breaking Bad is anti-educational propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Wait, what did you, what did you study in education? Uh, studying? I, I studied I, for a minute. I studied polymer engineering for like a Whoa, minute. Whoa, that's cool. For a minute, for a minute, I quit because um, I got into a class called statics and mechanics. Oh, I know statics. Oh yeah, I remember you, you static. took statics and mechanics. Yes. Did you like that class? No. Exactly. It was horrible. That's why I quit. I got into it in the first week, and then they were like, "Hey, pull out your calculators and like do this graph and blah, blah blah." And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I look around. There's kids like, yes, 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 <laughs> and they're so into it. Yeah, yeah. The kids they love that love shit. They love it. They love that shit. They love and it. I looked around. I go, I hate it. I don't want to be an engineer. And you know what's so embarrassing about statics is like you'll be looking at the test, and it'll be a square. Yeah, it'll be yeah. a square and like two arrows. And then, and then you, and like, I'm like, it's a fucking, like, I'm like sitting in my, I'm sitting at this exam. I'm like, okay, Sean, it's a square and some arrows. You can figure this out. Yeah. And then I fucking bomb it's the, the exam. It's fucking thing. It's the hard, and then it's you look so at the answer hard. and it's like eight pages. And you're like, how can a square and two arrows yes. be eight pages that's, of work? That's why I quit. That's why I quit. It's I crazy. couldn't do that. That class fucked me up. Like yeah. within like two weeks, I was like, this is no way. I cheated my way through it. I cheated. I cheated my way through most classes. I got a C minus, C D plus in it. My like favorite that. class that I cheated my way through was organic 
like chemistry. So like oh, that's like yeah. apparently the hardest class, whatever. Never took OCHEM. So I took OCHEM and there was an Indian kid in my class, right? Yeah. And already like, oh, he's smart or whatever. And then like he would just like, I would pay him. He would take the test and then he would just pass his notes to me, right? And I would pass and I was like, how do you fucking know this? And he goes, I learned this in like seventh grade. <laughs> I was like, what? He was like, yeah, we did this in eighth grade, probably like long time ago. I was like, that our education is so fucked up. Then they're learning the shit that we learn in college in like middle school, high school. Yeah. So when India. they get to like the bachelor's degrees, in yeah, India, they're it's doing easy. like PhD fucking yeah. like OCHEM research. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So that's the only way I passed that class. Dude, I got I got caught cheating once in college and I thought my life was ruined. Yeah. You could have gotten expelled. Yeah. Shit. It was yeah. a chemistry class and my professor... It was the one science class you have to take so you can go in your major. And uh, I couldn't make it to the class. I had an excuse. So he's like, hey, tomorrow just come to my office. You can take the test there. And I had all the answers. And I'm just taking the test. And he, he looks over and he goes, are those the answers? And I, I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You and just I, go, yeah. You yeah, just, just give up. I just give up because yeah, it's there. what are you gonna? Yeah, he's gonna look. Yeah, yeah. he's not. He's gonna be like, he was no. He's like, no. okay, stop looking. <laughs> and he goes, you know, you shouldn't do that. I could report you, and you can get kicked out of the school. And I just go, man, I fucking just want to make movies. I don't need to know this. I just want to make movies. You level with it? Yeah, I just go. I just want to make movies. I gotta Ballsy. take this class. I gotta take this class and fucking. I don't want to help. I'm not gonna learn this to like help someone. I just want to make. Dumb comedy movies, and he looked at me and he goes, "What's your favorite movie?" And I was like, "You know, like Dumb and Dumber, Tropic Thunder." And he goes, "Those are silly movies." <laughs> and then he just goes, "I'll give you a C plus." Nice. And he just goes, "Get out." Nice. Wow. Yeah, that's he just, nice. He just kicked. He just goes, "Get Dude, out." Dude, he goes, nice. "Never cheat again." A lot of teach. A he lot was of like eighty. He was eighty. He yeah. was dope. Mm, you didn't he, give a shit. Yeah, he was. A, he would do jokes. He would do like dumb science jokes, and I would laugh at him, and he would see me laughing. So I think that helped. I was um I was really good at calculus for some reason. I was. Just, I mean, I'm Indian. Um, this is like yeah, you're born with yeah, it. Yeah, is that racist? It. Okay, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but, um, he comes out with a calculator. <laughs> but yeah, I took a calc. It was either calc two or calc three, and uh, so we just all we had to do was take four five tests the semester. That was it. No quizzes, no bullshit. The professor was like, these are the test dates. You pass these tests, you pass the class. Right, so right. So I never went to class. But when it was test day, I was like, chapters three and four? Cool. I would just study it. Yeah. And then I would do the test. And then it was like chapters five and six, I go and do the test. Yeah. I never knew what I had in the class. I didn't, I had no idea. I could have been failing. I could have been, I had an A. I had no idea. So at the end of the semester, he's like, hey, if you have above an 85 in the class, you can exempt the final. And I was like, oh, sick. So I went up to him and I was like, hey, my name's Neil. I was just wondering, like, what uh, what do I have in the class? And he looks he's like, oh, you have an 88. And I was like, oh, so I can accept the final? He goes, yeah. And I go, great. So I'm going to accept the final. And he was like, are you the kid that never comes to class? And I was like, <laughs> what? And he was like, he was like, I have all your tests. And I was like, yeah. He's like, how did you pass? I was like, I just read the thing. And he goes, get the fuck out of my class. <laughs> he was like, get, I was like, so I don't got to take the final? He's like, no, no, just get the fuck out of my class. Because <laughs> that's, it's like, that that's the ultimate victory over a professor. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's because it's like, I don't need you, bitch. I, I crush your exams I don't, and I don't need you, bitch. A lot of times you don't. I mean, some classes you do, but like with math, it's like, if you can learn how to do the problems, why do I need you to tell me how to do the problem? If I can yeah. read the book and it tells me. Dude, and everyone you know? learns math at a different pace. Right. And so it's like, if you sit and like, and like uh, in the class and like the professor, dude, all those, especially, dude, I had this other class and I remember physics. Uh, I was doing electromagnetics, uh, physics, and mm -hmm. uh, the professor, he would like talk about the theory, right? Mm -hmm. And then he would say, let's do an example. Mm -hmm. And then the example <laughs> would be a, another fucking theory. <laughs> it was the most bullshit. He'd be like, and uh, electricity, when you send it through a copper wire, um, travels, you know, circularly, cir in, circularly tangential to the mm -hmm. wire, right? And that's called a, electromagnetic a field or whatever. Let's do an example. Suppose you have a wire of length L. I'm like, <laughs> give it a length. Yo. Say like L equals 10, that's you know? Crazy. Yeah, and that's great. It's fucking bullshit. And they're like, let's like wrap a lot of this bullshit. I mean, I'm really, especially like out of school and everything. I'm like, you can learn 90% of what you need to know on YouTube. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane how much you can learn on YouTube. Like, uh, you're, do you edit? Yeah, I learned everything on this on YouTube. Yo, I went to, when I first started editing my clips, I went to a guy who went to school for it. And then he would take forever to edit my shit. And I was like, I'm just going to learn on my own. I got better than him and started teaching him shit mm. from YouTube. Yeah. Dude, like, you know, that's why I tell people, 
the only reason to go to film school is to network and meet people. Mm -hmm. Which is super important. Which it, for that is important, you know, build reputation, like learn how to be on a film set in different roles. But like the practical stuff was bullshit. Yeah. Because it's like these 50 year old professors teaching you how to edit. And they're like, so you have to get the film. They have to cut the film. It's like we're not using film, baby. We're yeah. using digital. And this guy's got scissors. He's like, "Well, so you cut it right here." Yeah. What the fuck is or, this? Or all your digital or, cameras are dead. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Or your professor shows you a movie that he made in college, or like when he graduated. Oh. And you're like, and you're like, oh, now I get why you teach. Yeah. Because it's just a bad movie, and he's laughing. The worst, Mr. Bat oh, when they're like when they're laughing at their own bits. Oh, Ballas, like, oh God. Ballas would just laugh. At his own movie. We had to watch it twice. And he goes, this is a, he's like, this is a comedy film, Tony. You'll like this movie. And it was the worst movie. <laughs> he's just sitting there just going, ha, 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 ha. Great writing. And I'm like, I want to kill The myself. banana. He slipped on the banana. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> It was just he was in blackface. He loved. Dude. No, I'm kidding. No, he didn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was a he was a nice man. Dude, the most powerful I ever felt in college was um I got like a D on a test mm -hmm. and I, I was like so stressed about my GPA. Mm -hmm. I had to get like at least a 3.3 mm, to, to like, keep your like get, scholarship and shit uh, or to get into certain jobs like a lot of right. jobs took literally in the job description it was like 3.3 or higher or 3.5 mm -hmm. something like that so I was like I was like this D is gonna ruin my career mm -hmm. so I go to the professor and I, I literally I I talk him up to a B plus how from a D how I, I just sat in there and I was just like I was like we went question by question I was like a mobster like, all right, Jesus. question one. Like, why did I get two out of ten? Yo, I, I a, <laughs> that's so funny. I felt victorious once. I got a ticket, and I, and I like, proved, like, the cop wrong, right? And I thought it was going to be this, like, fucking Perry Mason, like, whole situation. Yeah. And then they were just like, okay, we'll throw it out. Like, they didn't even give me the chance to, like, because and I used, like, math to prove, like, I couldn't be going that speed because if the speed limit is here, and I was, like, doing all this shit. I yeah. got this ticket for... um. It was called like a move away violation or something where like if a cop is pulled over to the on the side, uh -huh. you're not allowed to be in the lane next to him going yeah. a certain speed or something. And uh, oh. so, so I and it was crazy because I got pulled over and I was like, I don't even know what I got pulled over for. Like, what did I get pulled over for? The cop was like, yeah, you drove by me and I was pulled over. So you, you're getting pulled over. I'm like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> so I, pr and so the guy wrote the location of where he was and he wrote, I was at the intersection of blah, blah, blah. And I go, Hey, isn't it illegal to change lanes a hundred, 200 feet before and after a light? And the, the judge was like, yeah. And I was like, so I couldn't change lanes because he was at the intersection. And they were like, well, you could have changed before if you saw him from a distance. And I was like, well, I looked up the law and it says, if that's the case, you have to slow down to 10 miles. If you can't change lanes, you must slow down 10 miles per hour below speed limit. I see a cop and I'm 16. I'm slowing down. So the cop clocked me at 30 and a 45. And yeah. so I was like, I was 15 below. And then they were like, yeah. I was like, they're like, do you want to take this to trial? I was like, yeah. And they were like, nah, we'll just throw it out. I was like, oh, <laughs> it would have been so cool to like, and your honor, you know, like, like a 17 year old, but no, nah, I never got Wow, that. You should have been a lawyer, dude. Ah, no. Neil, Neil just looks at the cop. Give me your gun and bed. Neil <laughs> Nanda Esquire. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Objection, your honor. I wanted to do that, but they were just like, nah, we'll start away. It doesn't matter. Dude, the court systems are, are cr I love how they even, s I asked you like, do you want to go to trial? Yeah. And then if you would have been like, nah, then they would have kept. They, they would have been like, well, then you, you're going to pay $500. Yeah, that's exactly. And so I said, I said yes, because like, all right, they were like, okay, I'm not going to throw it out. But if you go to trial, you can tell a jury and then they can decide whether it's. And I go, yeah, let's go to trial because like, I'm right. And then they were like, all right, let's throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I had a, I had a, I had to go to the Austin like ticketing place because. Uh, when I was doing DoorDash, there's that Chick-fil-A on 6th, right? Yeah. So I parked to get an order, and it was I'm not allowed to park there. But I see the guy writing people tickets, and I go, hey, man, I'm working for DoorDash. I just need to go in there. The order will be ready. I'll come out, and I'll leave. Is that mm -hmm. cool? And the guy goes, yeah. So I go in there for like two minutes. Get my order, come out. There's a ticket. No on my thing. Way. Fuck and I just guy. go, I looked, at you, I looked at him. I go, really, man? He goes, I said you could do it. I didn't say... I wouldn't give you a ticket. Wow. Whoa. So literally I go, cool, man. And I get his like number wow. and everything. And I just go in there and I'm just like, hey, man, literally this ticket, my whole shift, my eight hour shift, just working, just trying to pay rent, live in the city, be a good taxpayer. This guy ruined a whole day. 
I yeah. go, it's a hundred dollars for nothing. Just because I'm in a working American trying to make a living. I talk, you should be a politician. Oh, dude, I went hard. <laughs> I went Yo. hard, and I just, I, I, I can like make myself cry, and I go, I just want to live in this city. I'm trying to pursue my dream to make this city a better place to put this city on the map. I thought this was a city for artists by artists, but based on that guy. Wow. And I just went on, and she's like, "What's the guy's number?" And literally, I give the number, and she goes, oh. five. She goes, he goes. That guy's a fucking asshole. And then same thing. They Throughout the right ticket. Out. Yeah. You know, they say that also, like, um, if you get a ticket for, like, jumping, like, uh, like if you're, like, going on the subway and you jump the turnstile and you get a ticket, they're, like, always take it to trial because then you just use the excuse of, like, you guys are using taxpayer money for a dollar fifty. Yeah. You guys, and then they throw it out. They're like, ah, right, fuck. Because <laughs> there's a jury that decides, and they're like, yeah, I'm not going to convict this guy for a dollar fifty, you know, yeah. or a dollar twenty five. But yeah, there's a guy who like did it. It was like a serial jumper, and he kept going to court, and every time he got thrown out because he was like, guys, it's a dollar twenty five. Yeah, you know, you you got all these people in here jury duty for a dollar twenty five, and then they would go. Yeah, he's right. Fuck. Yeah, they're wasting like at least a thousand dollars. Yeah, just for, litigate, make, litigating a dollar. It's crazy yeah. how expensive the subway system is in America. Is it? It's a little because, dude, I grew up in 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 Europe, and it's not that. I feel like Europe's more expensive. Like no. London was pretty pricey. Was it pretty? Yeah, mm. pretty pricey. I recall. Yeah. No, I think. Or I think as a as a citizen, like if you you live in the city, you can get like unlimited bus and yeah, uh, the Oyster card. Yeah, exactly, six dollars, three dollars, and that's euros, so or pounds. So like six, three, everywhere you go is like five, ten bucks. Wow. Yeah, Oyster card, contacts payment card is twenty two fifty pounds or two fifty pounds. Yeah, pound. that's more than New York, right? Hey, that's weigh, more than New York. I yeah. weigh two hundred and eighty pounds. I'm just fine. <laughs> Yeah, New York is, I think, <laughs> 275. It's 275 that's, everywhere. It's crazy. Fact yeah. check, Tony. You're wrong. No, but, like, if you live there, because my buddy even said he has to pay, like, 45, 50 bucks a month to get, like, a card. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in Germany, it's like, if you live in the city, it's, like, 10 bucks. No, it's not oh, bad. Oh, really? Just because they don't want you, they would rather have you use public trans. Yeah, mm. dude. Well, you know what's crazy is like the, the these like public these, like, transgender be okay, <laughs> public trans <laughs> public trans. Yeah. They're like you yes. can wear your normal pants in your house, but when you're out there wearing yeah. dress. <laughs> um, there's a uh, it's wild. I, I saw this story about like Jeff Bezos uh, is building a house or something, mm -hmm. and um, instead of like going through the proper permitting process with this with the city mm -hmm. which would take years was this one in la i think so is that he LA just house? ate yeah. the costs of the fines every day yeah where like instead of like he parked the fucking cement truck outside his house mm -hmm. and just paid ten thousand dollars a day in <laughs> fees to yeah. get it done faster instead of the permit yeah which would have cost like hundreds of thousands millions possibly and years of approval yeah. and so he's just like fuck that um and it's just crazy that like these like monetary fines. Yeah, look at this shit. Yeah, sixteen thousand dollars in parking tickets <laughs> uh, for yeah. renovations over the last three years. That does nothing. Sixteen thousand. So nothing. That's Jeff. That's like one day of. That's le that's like eight hours of work for Jeff. Not even. Probably less than that. Probably less, like two hours of work. And so he just did that instead of like. <laughs> Over 560 citations were issued in Jesus, total. 560 citations. A home in 2016 for 23 million in cash. The property has undergone millions in renovations. Jesus. So he made money Where on the renovations. It was in D.C.? Yeah, I watched oh, it was in D.C. How cool would it be if Jeff Bezos just built another White House? <laughs> the, the whiter house. The whiter house. It's like, I'm in the whites only house. <laughs> hey, he's a good man. He's a good Christian man. Crazy. I don't know. Should we should we do a couple of You guys of got news? topics, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do a Let's couple do of news stories and we'll I think I emailed them to you, Josh. Josh, pull up the email. Um let's see. Let's leave it to Neil. What do you want? What do you what what's your flavor? What do you like? What do you want to talk about? What you know, got? We got Kanye. We got, we got the, the military. Navy, we got Navy SEALs using Viagra during training. We got. Okay. Uh, what, what? Okay. The Viagra. What's going on? Go up. <laughs> what's happening with the Viagra? Wait. Spy Navy SEALs using Viagra and self medicate when they sta start coughing up blood during qualifying drills. They say it works. But yeah, then you get a boner. You're like, <laughs> oh, I'm so hard. <laughs> yeah, you're doing push ups. <laughs> with yeah, the boner. Without, without no, with no hands. You're doing push ups with no hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have heard that it does like Viagra does help with certain things like medically 
Uh, I mean, I guess because like you're coughing up blood, maybe the blood's all going to your dick now. Also, why are they coughing up blood? Because you shouldn't it, be. Dude, the training is rigorous. Wait, I, but if you exercise that hard, do you cough up blood? Yeah. Why? Dude, you're getting like thrown around, punched. You're climbing things. You're jumping down. You're getting mace in the face. Mace you're in getting, the face. Yeah, you're getting. Like, there's a lot of shit. Mace that, in the f- yeah, they, they do a lot of training where they like Dude, mace you. Dude, only 15% of the recruits that make it. These are tough fuckers that yeah. go in, and only 15% of the tough fuckers make it. Yeah, 15 to 30% of roots uh, start the program will complete it. That's Dude, insane. You get like two hours of sleep. It's Yeah, they do a training where they mace you, and then they make you do a bunch of shit. Mm. And, then, and they'll like beat you up while you're mace. It's yeah. fucking crazy. Like though I've seen videos where they'll mace you and you gotta like go through like a obstacle course and then a dude will like start punching you and like dude, look so at that. Wait, let me let me Sean, let me just get this Sean, straight. This looks like you <laughs> when you got a D on that test. <laughs> 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 and these, these are, look at that smoke. That's not that's not like fun smoke. That's not no. a gender reveal. <laughs> it's, not a, it's like it's yeah. a girl. <laughs> also, no. it's red. What gender? Anyway, and they're all like, "We wish for a boy. We wanted a boy." <laughs> no, 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 no. See no evil. Wait, let me get this straight. It's a bunch of men Horny getting men. maced. Uh, uh-huh. Walking and doing obstacle courses, and they're erect. This and they is the gayest. Boner. This is the gayest thing. Yeah, uh, kind of. So, uh, but only thirty percent make it. Only, <laughs> only fifteen. War is pretty gay. It's a you know. Yeah, a little bit. So it's just boys. Look at that guy. That's a that's yeah, BDSM. They'll, like, I, they'll, go down they'll, like, they'll like handcuff you and make you like swim and shit. That's BDSM right Dude, there. There's a guy is, standing yeah. up there and he goes drown for me. That's boys. a kink. That's a kink. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely someone's kink. Oh, yeah, huge. They're all to, holding huge logs. So that training, you have to stay under for like three or four minutes. Oh, yeah. underwater? Yeah, in a pool. Well, don't you just pass? Do people ever die during SEAL training? Probably. I bet David Blaine could make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because David Blaine like <laughs> held his breath for like nine minutes or some shit, remember? Yeah. Or like 13 minutes. He had to go to the hospital, but you know. 13. Dude, my, my Dude that guy's not even a magician. He's just like controls his body. Dude, I'm so excited. I, I'm, I'm actually meeting him. In like a few no weeks. No way. I'm so fucking I'm so dope. jealous, dude. That's you better make him eat dude, glass in front I'm, of you. I don't know what I'm going to do. He's going to do some tricks on you me. You should make him take Viagra and do Navy SEALs yeah, training. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I mean, let me see that dick. Um, yeah, I'm meeting him in like uh, October because my, my girl's a journalist and she interviewed him. And I was like, if there's any way you could slip in, I'm a huge fan. And she was like, no. And I was like, please, just, if there's if there's any way. She's like, all right, if it comes up or whatever. So she does the interview, and uh, she's like, hey, thank you so much, David Blainball. She recorded the interview, so I got to hear it. And he's like, you're welcome. You know, and <laughs> she's like, she's like, hey, just uh, just want to throw this out there. My, my boyfriend's a huge fan of yours, and he's like, tell him to come to my show. I'll perform magic on him. <laughs> That's sick. And she was like, really? And he was like, talk to my publicist. She'll get you tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Just he, kidding. He the, the tickets best, are right dude, here. He had yeah. the best line check, in the show. Check your pockets. He had the best line in the There's show. Tickets he goes, in he goes uh, I went to this part in, in St. Louis because it had the highest murder rate. And then he just shows up into the ghetto yeah. in St. Louis starts at doing magic. 2 in the morning and starts doing magic to everybody. And I'm like, he is a badass. He He's a badass, it. yeah. And, and it's crazy because you could see everybody in that neighborhood was like looking at him weird. Yes, and they're like within, cameras? Yeah, and within, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. They're like fucking, they thought he was a reporter doing another report of how bad this neighborhood is and the crime rate. And then he just started doing magic. And within five minutes, the whole neighborhood was gathered around yeah. him. Yeah, and people and were like, like fucking with him. One yeah. guy started crying. He goes, hey, man, thanks for coming around here and just like making our night. Yeah. Wow. Like he's a yeah, badass. Yeah, David Blaine's the best, man. So yeah, we're going to go to his show. We got like backstage Oh passes. my God, dude. That's so and, cool. And he was like, I'll come and do magic before the show. <laughs> and so he's going to come to like our room and like do some magic. What if you just throw up a turtle? Yeah. Like, check your throat. He goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes I don't eat meat. <laughs> what if he goes, hey, Neil, check your girlfriend's Facebook relationship status. What the fuck? Dating David Blaine? Yeah. yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> your, your girlfriend's pregnant. Yeah. He's like, what? You pregnant? Check, With what? Check hey, the ultrasound. What the fuck? You got an ultrasound in here? And it's an elephant? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> you fucked an elephant? <laughs> oh, my God. You I should, guess I'm Hindu now. Yeah. Fuck. You should have listened to your parents. They yeah. were right about it. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited, man. I don't know what he's going to do. And, like, he's doing a live show in Vegas. Yeah. And uh, apparently he has to train his body. He has to do it once a week because he has to train his body for the whole week before doing it. Right. Because, like, with Vegas residencies, it's usually, like, every night or five nights a week or, you know, whatever, or, like, every weekend. Yeah. He's only doing one show a week because he's like, my body needs to train. 
So he's and and like my girl was like, wow. "Oh, do you go out? Do you like party? Do you like hang out in Vegas?" He's like, "I just train every day." And then I eat bullets, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> no, that's, why, dude, that's why he's one of the most successful magicians and has been doing it for so long. Discipline. Because, no, and because if you look at like uh, David David Copperfield, my dad saw him like two years ago and he goes, I want my money back. He just thought it was like such a boring show. He hasn't updated the show. Yeah, it's, I hate when they him, don't do It's that, him yeah. just like going... That's why. That's why I'm not a. I'm not a big Seinfeld fan for that reason. Because I used to. I grew up on the show, and I loved Same. his stand up. And then I started watching his new specials, and I'm like, that bit's fifty years old. Oh, yeah. Like I'm okay with ten. I'm okay with five to ten. But when you watch a special, and you're like, that is the cops don't even do that anymore. Like you know what I mean? Like you'll see, like you'll hear a bit, and you'll be like. What are you talking about? Yeah. Wireless, cordless phones. You know, those, what I mean? road, yeah, yeah. those road dogs, dude. I I worked with a road dog once. This is crazy. Where, because, and no shade to Seinfeld. I love him, and I think well, he's a brilliant comic. But I'd say just up, just they, do a new hour, if it, dude. But his new material would be like, "What's the deal with small yachts?" Yeah, <laughs> I was on, on my I, super yacht. I mean, I get, but if it's honest and it's authentic, and you have something funny to say, like I love Brian Regan. He like talks about like tennis yeah. and shit, and like and it's it's updated. Like he does a bit about tennis and like books and yeah, like but the different things. But the difference between the two is. Jerry Seinfeld is like this entity and he has all that money from Seinfeld. He doesn't need to update the He act. doesn't give a shit. And that's where what bothers me. Where is Brian he used Regan, to give a shit. Brian Regan is a comic. Yeah, he but I thought Seinfeld was a comic. I thought he was a write every day mm. guy. Wasn't his whole thing I write every day? What no, happened? It's, it's talk to my wealth manager every day. Yeah, I guess. About, it's, uh, about my portfolio. I guess. <laughs> I yeah. just would love to see new Seinfeld. I would love yeah. to see, even if it's my yacht shit, that's fine. Yeah. As long that, as it's I would love to see, like, I want to see, like, what's it like to be rich Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. You haven't really heard or about rich that. comic. I want to see edgy Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. That would be, dude. What's that the would, deal with Kabul? If he wants to tap it, <laughs> tap into, like, today's culture, he should do, like, very, like, but that's not his brand. It's not his brand. That's not his brand. I don't care what his brand is. I just want it updated. I just want to see new shit. You know, yeah. I've been a fan of his for a long time, and then to see him just do the same shit for fifty years is fucking insane. But when me. you're Jerry, it doesn't. It, I, I it doesn't matter to him, but it matters to me as a fan. I don't think he gives a shit about his fans. I, I think, genuinely, yeah, his don't fans think, are all like geriatric, like, I don't and, they, and they don't he, remember the shit from fifty years ago. Yeah. They're like, oh yeah, chairs are weird. <laughs> I, think, I think it's more of a. It's one of those things when you see someone, and it's more of a nostalgia thing. Like mm -hmm. we saw Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, I mean, I, even when you look at a special, like everybody's bald. Yeah, everyone in the audience is balding or bald. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like a couple toupees, and that's it. <laughs> They're all in like hospital beds. <laughs> No, it's the hospice special. <laughs> he's, I think he's one of those guys. It's a different class. I think back then you just wrote your hour and then you lived off that hour for a long time. And, and nowadays, fine. and nowadays you can't do that because mm -hmm. I think people want new and new you shit, put your yeah. shit out there. Uh, I remember I worked with this road guy who all his act was like my wife. We know the right, yeah. Where it's all about being married. My wife, isn't it crazy when your wife says no? And uh, and I, we go okay. just ra yeah. <laughs> There was a guy. There was a road guy. Not a guy. good. Not a good. <laughs> there was a road guy. And I can't find. I tried so hard to find this video. And I can't find it to show somebody. But uh, so like I would say look it up, but you can't. Uh, I couldn't find it. But some guy just he was a road guy, and his whole act was memes. His entire act was mm -hmm. he just stole. Oh really? He stole memes, and uh, some comic filmed him and called him out for it and put the memes side by side no, with his jokes. No. And and literally every joke was just a different meme that he would just like translate into mm -hmm. a joke. It wouldn't oh be like, God. you know what I mean? It would just be like, when your wife, da 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 I'd be like, do you guys know when your wife, da, da, you know what I mean? And then he would just do the meme and he was crushing. Yeah. Murdering. Because people don't, you can't see every meme. And also yeah. your crowd's like 45. They, they don't know memes. They don't know memes. But the guy just did an entire hour, an entire Holy hour shit, of memes. Dude. Dude, this insane. this guy, we we go back to the condo where we're staying, and I was like, oh, so how long have you been married? He goes, I'm not married. I'm like, oh, you guys got a divorce? He goes, I've never been married. So he just made that up? He just made up because he probably saw like, oh, people love my wife material. That's crazy. So he just built a relationship. With That's insane. Fake I mean, I will say this. I did, uh, I'm single jokes. 
uh, after I was in a relationship, but for like a year. That's, for like a year, for like one year, and also like I was like when we were dating, I was like I probably I don't know if it's gonna last. Like I'm still kind of single, you yeah, know. Like yeah, in, the yeah. fr- in the first year, you're like I don't know. No, but so I, I still did like man, dating's weird and blah blah for a year, and then my girlfriend was like, you gotta stop doing that. I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, but the difference is like when you wrote those jokes, you were single. I was single. And those yeah. sentiments were there. Mm-hmm. Where this guy has never had a wife, and they were never yeah. true. They were never <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, they were like, there was was never no true. Se- there was no yeah. sentiment of like you know when your wife does this. Yeah, and he's just been divorced for like a year or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. then I would forgive it. I'd be like, all right, well, you'll update it, you know, whenever. And there's a difference between like, uh, there's a like absurdism where you're mm-hmm. like, you say things that are clearly absurd yeah. and funny. Yeah, I do whereas, a joke about drinking my own jizz. And, yeah. and I, some people, sometimes people get mad at me about that. I got someone was like, no, you don't. I was like, of course I don't. I don't, f- these aren't true. Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, there's a great Nick Swartzen joke where he said, uh, uh, my cat had diarrhea. So I took her to the vet, and uh, the vet was like, well, what are you feeding your cat? And he goes, diarrhea. <laughs> and he goes, people get mad at me about that joke. Like, you're abusing your cat. He's like, I'm not actually feeding my cat diarrhea. And going, the joke has to be true. It has to be true. Eat it. That's <laughs> yeah, like a funny joke. Uh, let's, do, let's do one more j- story, and we'll get out of here. Should you drink your own jizz? What happens if you eat your own sperm? It's, it's unsafe. unsafe. If a person has certain STDs. No, I don't, I'm clean. So that's I'm fine. Um, I just do another story. Can we do this uh, Bed Bath & Beyond one? Yeah. Let's end on something something light. Suicide. Woo! Uh, <laughs> oh, I thought you said Best Buy. It's Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, yeah. yeah of course yeah. Bed Bath & Beyond is going out of business. Um, so uh, this is just came out of today or yesterday. Mm-hmm. or t- I guess, yeah, pretty early. So Bed Bath & Beyond uh, taps chief accounting officer as interim CFO. Mm-hmm. Uh, after executive suicide. So the CFO killed himself and they got the accounting guy to be this new CFO. Um, yeah, if you just scroll down, Josh. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond on Tuesday. All right, anyway. Uh, Arnold's death was, was ruled a suicide by the New York City Medical Examiner this weekend. Police said he fell to his death Friday from a skyscraper in downtown Manhattan. Wow. Could you imagine? And then... Best, best, bet, bed Bath & Beyond shares were down nearly 17% on Tuesday. Yikes. So, I mean, could you imagine, like, being the CF, like, in a fucking, like, penthouse office? Well, my office? question is this. My question is this. Like, didn't he, like, is it a situation where it's, like, now he just has, like, a little less millions? He's still rich as fuck. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand that. Like, why you got to take your life for, like, oh, I lost 17 million. You saw 150. Yeah. It's like, bro, you're still... A fucking oh uh, yeah, that's bad actually. Six dollars and ninety two. That's bad. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's it's kind of funny. Bad. That's kind of like the dip he fell from. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's his suicide. That's and then he, and then he and then he bounced. <laughs> and then he <laughs> bounced and then <laughs> fell. Yeah. Hey, making fun of suicide not okay, guys. Not, not yeah. okay. Go to the five year. Go to the five year. I want to know what it used to be. I guess it's never really been great hey, stock. It's yeah, Bed Bath and Beyond. Like yeah. My thing is, you're you're right. Where it's like, bro, yeah, you fucked up. You're probably gonna get fired, but re- just retire. Yeah, or reti- get a job at a better company. Yeah, you can just get hired somewhere else. Yeah, you're doing. You're fine. That's crazy. Why? It's, why did he kill himself? Because it was like weighing on. Do you him? think he's in? You, do you think he's in the beyond now? <laughs> 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 he's like finally the beyond. <laughs> You think he was like, uh, like, uh, do it shopping on Amazon before he killed himself? Like yeah, using a competing company to Probably. buy chairs. Oh, Sue Gove, <laughs> she is. She stepped up as the CEO. Well, we're praying for you, Sue. That's crazy. Could you Did imagine? He from- must. It must have been a situation where he lost some people money. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He must have like had. You know what I'm saying? Like there must have been something. Yeah, there was a squeeze. Oh, I yeah. There, it was like a meme. Bed Bath Beyond, yeah, Bed, Bed, like Beyond was like stock. a meme stock, and there was a short squeeze, and they made a ton of money, but uh, that never lasts. Yeah, no way. No short squeezes ever. Everyone's like, and then it's going to keep going, and it never does. Yeah. It just it just eventually goes, all right, your company's worthless. So yeah, it's, it's like, wait a minute. What, what am I $6? invested in? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, get out. We, we made our money. <laughs> yeah. And then that you, must suck, though. Your company that you help build becomes a meme stock. I mean, GameStop is still GameStop. around somehow, yeah. and fucking AMC is still around somehow. Like they're riding the wave. They're riding the wave, and they've been riding the wave. And it's just because people are dumb on the internet, dude. It's but could you imagine taking the job 
the guy kills himself and then you be, take that job. You get the email. You're like, like hey, the, the last guy who had this job killed himself. <laughs> Tell, yeah. Congratulations. You're the new skyscraper. <laughs> yeah, not just shot himself, like jumped off of a skyscraper. And also, in what a way to kill yourself. That is Isn't a that a classic executive way to kill yourself? That's pretty tight. Kind of respect it. But my question <laughs> is, is New York City, like, were there not people on the sidewalk? Oh, there it were. It's selfish. It's self... And forgive me for What if you fell on someone? Exactly. It's selfish as fuck to jump off a building. Yeah. Unless you're jumping into Not an alley. Not even falling on someone. What if you, like, witness that? You're just walking. You have your bagel. I you bet have you your people coffee. did witness it. Yeah. You have your coffee and then... And there's just blood on you. And then you look at the camera. New York City. New York City, baby. <laughs> and then Get out of here. Kate, and then Kate McKinnon looks in the camera and goes, live from New York. <laughs> it's Saturday night. And then a bunch of bodies. <laughs> and then Alec Baldwin comes out. So shooting people. <laughs> yeah. And it's like. Do you guys think Alec Baldwin was just standing his ground? <laughs> <laughs> live from Austin, Texas. <laughs> I heard after he shot the first boy, he just made sure the clip Dude, was empty. <laughs> well, we talked about that. The fucking. Uh, What's it called? The gun armor, Person, yeah. the armor, armory. Yeah. If you look armor. at the armor for that for that film, it was a child. It was the twenty four year old with, uh, chick with blue hair. Yeah, was the armor. I'm Hell like, yeah. I want, oh, I want a fifty five year old overweight mm -hmm. redneck. I need to see a that's swastika the tattoo. I need to see a swastika yeah, tattoo. That's, you know, I'm not safe. sure. Yeah, I that's how you know it's, it's not loaded. He, smoke, yeah. he smokes cigarettes with no filter. Yeah, like that needs <laughs> to be the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, well, this year's an M nine. Yeah, and apparently that girl only got the job because her dad was never. He worked yeah. in that industry before. Dude, it's but it's wild to think that like the um if you're like a director of photography, mm -hmm. that doesn't seem like a dangerous career. Mm -hmm. Oh, being a DP, that sounds like a fun, cool thing to mm -hmm. do with my life. Right. Then you get fucking shot by in the head. Alec Baldwin. By Alec Yikes. That's not a good way to go. I mean, if I would always uh, have you guys ever I mean, I've shot a gun recently for the first time. Feels great. It's been a long time, but it's yeah. nice. Shot a on, shotgun. A, on a film set, though. No, dude. When you work on, I a would do. I would just do this click. No, dude. Well, when you work on a film set, literally, and a gun is brought on set, so the director checks the barrel. Yeah. Then it hands it to the actor. Then the assistant director. Like there, there should be a process. Th it's like of, fifteen people check the gun before to make sure it's not loaded. To make sure it's not loaded. Or if it's a blank, mm -hmm. they don't. Well, they no, blanks they, kill you, they, right? They, they, they can't. Can. They can hurt you. That's yeah. what happened to if it's uh, close Bruce Lee's yeah. kids. Oh, Bruce to Lee's the kid, uh, the crow in the, on the crow. Oh, it was yeah. a joke. Like, hey, I'm gonna shoot myself with a blank. No, no, no. He was. It was in it a was scene. point blank range. Yeah, and it was a blank and like to a, the head. A projectile. Hit yeah, him hit him in the head, him. killed him. That's yeah. why I think. Yeah, Brandon now, Lee. Yeah. Nowadays, oh, actually so went on set by a defective blank ammunition and later died in hospital during surgery. Yeah. And nowadays with CGI and everything, fucking yeah, bang bang it, just bang just bang, bang, bang it. it. Do a get, a, get a gun that can cock back and look real. Yeah. And then just add no, a little but you know what the problem with that is? Like, if the actors aren't in danger, I'm not interested. That is true. In the film. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, in John Wick, he shot like four billion people, <laughs> and no one no got one hurt. Died. No one That's got hurt. That's crazy that no one got hurt on John Wick. Yeah, but and this then on a Western. Alec Baldwin movie <laughs> that no one was going to see. <laughs> yeah, it was an indie film. Yeah, that, that three people were going to watch. Someone died. It, but it was Alec Baldwin's family. I bet her last thought was like, oh, for this movie? <laughs> <laughs> for this bullshit? <sighs> They said, I was going to do the, the, the Batman Returns again. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be fine. The yeah. Batman Returns again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, sh oh, you didn't bring your book. You have a book? Oh, oh yeah. I, I, I wrote this kind of manifesto. Oh, I was going to go. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, it's Thank about you guys. It's about, <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend. It's about Marvel. You want I'll get you lunch if you want lunch. <laughs> it's about Let's Marvel and their fans, you know? No, it's, uh, I wrote this thing yesterday just about, uh, like, I don't, I hate Marvel. I don't love, Mar I don't love Marvel and I, I do. And like, I, I hate to be this guy, but like, I'm just not 13. I'm just not 13. Thank, thank you. I'm just thank not you. a child anymore. Like, I don't care. This and, like, also, how many fucking times do I got to see Spider-Man? Thank you. How many fucking times do I got to see the same fucking Spider-Man with some other white guy who cries? Why, how many times <laughs> do I got to see this bullshit? I'm just not 12 anymore. And, like, I could... Any Marvel movie. You can name any Marvel movie. A new one that's coming out. I will tell you exactly what happens. I will tell you exactly yeah. what happens every scene. I will tell you exactly... Because it's all the same shit, and I'm not 13. Yeah. I'm gonna, sorry. I'm sorry. Gonna, I know you're going to murder me with your fake swords or whatever the fuck, but I'm just not. 
12. Dude, and the, the jokes they crack are so fucking bad. You know what's the funny? As, as comics, like, we really dig into that. Because I hate musicals for that reason. I hate really? musicals because it's always like, well, that's a whomper. And then they just like yeah. shuck, and I'm like, what the and music, fuck? Musicals they are look amazing. The, uh, musicals oh, are terrible. Are they're amazing. They're horrible. Musicals are comedy. Most, mus most musical. Book of Mormon, hilarious. No, There's like two. Music. Avenue Q, Book of Mormon. Hamilton, I'll, I'll let pass because it's original. Great. Musicals what musical? Name one. They're supposed to. Name one. Uh, I would say Le Les Mis. Oh, my God. I would say God. Wicked. Oh, my God. I, I got five minutes into Les Mis before Lion having King. an anxiety attack. <laughs> I, had, I had an aneurysm during Les Mis because it was like, where are you and I? And I was like, this, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. It's the stupidest thing. And then it was like, the, you how about we send you back in time and you fight in the French Revolution and we'll see how you feel. I, you I, be I, singing those I'll, songs. I'll, I'll tell you something. If I fight where in the French Revolution. Where I, am That's I? what I'm saying. I'm not going to do that if I'm fighting. The, like, I'll Show me a movie about the French Revolution. I right. bet it's good. Yeah. But I don't want to fucking... I, no one's walking around French Revolution like, my lady. My, no, no one's doing that. Neil, you don't understand. <laughs> the I, movie is I good. Had a, <laughs> I, I had a... Uh, I dated a girl who's a musical theater major. Oh, Little Shop of Horrors was fantastic. Yeah, Little Shop of Horrors. But I was like eight when I saw it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, everything's it's good when kids. you're eight. Everything's good yeah. when you're eight. Everything's amazing. It's nostalgia, dude. Have you ever seen a movie that you love when you were a kid and then you're like, oh, it's not... I, don't, I try to purpose. Obviously not. I yeah. watched Corky Romano recently. Ugh. One of my favorite Never movies growing up. And it was just like, all the jokes were like, you're gay. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wait, what? And then I remember being like 13, like, oh shit, he's gay. But I, I loved this movie when I was a kid, but it does not hold up. And then there was a, a Ace Ventura. I watched Ace Ventura. Pre Ace pretty Ventura. funny. Yeah. Pretty funny. Definitely. Held up quite a bit. There's a trans joke in there that like I don't understand how there's not riots about this joke because the joke was basically like at the end of the movie the guy was like spoiler alert if you haven't seen Ace Ventura the villain was transgender and uh -huh. there's just a montage of Jim Carrey vomiting for like <laughs> five minutes he's like in the bathroom he's at the tub yeah. he's like on the street it's the he finds out that it's a transgender person and uh, yeah that's the yeah the no way let's yeah. watch it does he take a shower? Yeah, he takes a shower and, and just vaunt and burns his clothes. Yeah, you know exactly Holy what I'm talking shit. about. Go to video. Yeah. Go to video. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, he literally like burns because <laughs> he finds out his first is transgender. Yeah, that's what happens when he finds out. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what he did when he found out someone was trans. He fucking burns his clothes. He's oh like, my god! Yeah, this is. Oh my god! This really happened. Ah, the, yeah, then he takes a shower and he's like, "Oh, oh my god!" Yeah, this is real. And like, he kissed him, right? Yeah, he, I think he kissed him. Yeah. And then it, oh, after, it's like he, it's like he got raped. Yes, yes, that's what that. And then everybody in the '90s was like, "Hilarious!" <laughs> Give him a fucking Oscar. That is pretty funny, though. That is kind of funny that I mean, that, no, that. the idea of like a masculine person, you kiss someone, find out it's a guy, it's, and then you plunder I, your. Face. <laughs> That's yeah, it's funny. I mean, no, it was it was very fun. Like the whole act out and the exaggeration was really funny. But it's what's really funny is that they did that shit. Like that was fine. Yeah, the fact that they thought that would be. Relatable, yeah. Like, oh, that's what the, you would do if the, you if yeah. you kissed a trans person. Oh, you yes. would. Jim Carrey says it great. He goes, "It was probably much different. Uh, it would it would probably, probably be, be much, much different, different today." today. That was an honest, uh, that was an honest, completely homophobic reaction from the character. It was basically making fun of homophobia. It's ridiculous. I've got a plunger on my face because I kissed a dude. It's ridiculous. Wait, yeah, let's, that's let's pause. a good, that's a great way to, to well, put it. Let's yeah. pause here. Can you go back to that? I don't. I think. I think. Mm, I see. Let, let's really read this. Uh, it was basically making fun of homophobia. I don't think that's true. That I, that's just not true. I mean, that's a good excuse, but it, that's not true. The no, joke wasn't making fun of homo. Also, the no, the joke also, was just homophobic. No, the yeah. reason. But the reason I think he's right is because Ace Ventura is not a good guy. He's an idiot. Movie. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so well, I'll give him why, that. That's why he's, yeah. you're never like, oh, he's so the character. He's a like, smart every, everything guy. Everything he yeah. does, everything he does is bad. It's just in stupid. The movie. Oh. It's just, yeah. So that's why him doing that, you can be like, oh, this idiot. It's just Doesn't, being an idiot. I yeah. see. Like, yeah, at, yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that, that's why I look at like Robert Downey Jr. doing blackface and yeah, in Tropic Th Thunder. Is like this guy is so, you know, right? He, you're he, not like, oh, this guy's morals are correct. Yeah, yeah you're like this, this guy, guy's an idiot. Yeah, we'll do anything to get no a reward. Right. Same with like the simple Jack joke and everything yeah. in Tropic Thunder, where it's like, oh, that's kind of fucked up. But then you're like, oh, that guy's an idiot. 
And it's making fun yeah, of Yeah, oh, here's, here's the whole scene. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Oh, the movie, the movie holds up except for this. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> the, the bulge? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then everybody. Vom- that's what it was. Everybody vomits. Oh, that's <laughs> including that- Dan Marino. <laughs> yeah. Even the dolphin. even the dolphins <laughs> like what the fuck? That's great. I love the Chinese subtitles at yeah. the bottom. Oh no! Oh no! They're gonna kill him. <laughs> Jim Carrey's so good. Jim Carrey's dude. incredible. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> That was incredible. What, Tony, what was that thing Jim Carrey said about Margot Robbie? Oh, dude. Suck, this is such a funny ever. They were on like a British talk show, mm-hmm. and he just looks at Margot Robbie and he goes, Man, it's, I'm just so impressed how you, you could go this far in your career with all your looks or all your, all uh, your physical disabilities. Yeah, disability. all your physical disabilities. <laughs> That's and it's so funny. The funniest thing ever, man. God, Margot Robbie is a fucking smoke show. Uh, we watched yeah. uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood last night. God, dude, Great she's movie. Gorgeous. Fantastic. She's gorgeous. And she's young. She's like 25 or some shit. Mm-hmm. 27. What? Yeah, apparently, isn't that crazy? Apparently what? Apparently fuck you up a little bit. I thought she was like 32. I thought she was like 31 what? or something. No, she's like 26 or some shit. Jesus yeah, she's Christ. a child, dude. She's gorgeous. Apparently a great human too. Buddy worked uh, on a movie with her. And she's funny. I've seen her in like interviews and stuff. She's funny and charismatic. Dude, and she'll, can open a beer with her arm. Dude, she'll like, just, I can't even do that. I know. <laughs> she'll she's amazing. Drink, she'll drink with the cast and crew. God damn, don't give me them. a fucking boner right now, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing giving us all boners for the All right, guys. We'll, okay. we'll, go, we'll, we'll leave on this. If you saw Margot Robbie at a bar tonight, mm-hmm. what would you say to her? I would cry. I would just cry. <laughs> <laughs> would you wouldn't even cry. approach? I couldn't. I couldn't approach. This is on a, this is unapproachable. You wouldn't? If this is unapproachable. Alone, it's a dive bar. There's only like two or three other people. She's sitting there I alone. fuck it up. I just fuck it up. I, would, I don't was. know how I would fuck it up, she's but a, I would fuck it up. She's actually a hall pass for me, but that's never going to. It's so funny because like my, my girlfriend, uh, her hall pass is uh, Harry Styles. Yeah. Right, uh-huh. but my m- girlfriend works in teen entertainment, <laughs> so it's like, and she like interviews people like Harry Styles. She's worked with him before. I'm like, that's, that's fu- funny. It's fucked up. So like, she, she could c- fuck him. She could fuck Harry Styles. I would never fuck Margot Robbie. Like, it, that's like oh, me that's being like my my whole past is like Whitney Cummings or something, or like yeah. you know like <laughs> Ali Wong. Like, I see her like once a week. Like, I uh-huh. could, if I wanted to, I could make a move, but <laughs> not that she'd be into it. But like, it's possible. Yeah, my girlfriend's met Harry Styles several times. And she's like, that's my whole past. I'm like. That's not okay. Dude, look That's at <laughs> look at that. Margot Robbie and Jamie Presley are basically twins. Disagree. Disagree. Strong. Why? Jamie they Presley? Come this, on. They don't. They, they don't look the same. They no. don't look the same? No, Margot Robbie is just a marvel of a human being. Jamie Presley's trying. That was her publicist. Like, <laughs> tell everyone trying. they look alike. <laughs> tell them that I look like her, please. <laughs> no, they don't. I'm sorry. I'm it's dumb enough. Even, if I saw Jamie Presley at a bar, I'd be like, Margo, how's it going? Nah. And then she would splash her uh, cocktail on you. Yeah. No, nah, you can tell. You, you can, can tell. You can tell. You can tell. Look at that. Look at the picture right to the one to the right of the one you just clicked on. That one. Come on. Come on. With, this Come is, on. This one's a mom. Her. One's Margot Robbie. Yeah, her her <laughs> one's milf porn. One's a uh, stepsister. <laughs> you know? Uh. What would you say, Sean, if she saw Margot Robbie um, at a bar alone? She's just having a drink, you know. She's just looking around. Okay. She seems lonely. She seems like she's looking for a friend. Opening line. Ready? Are you Margot Robbie? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go bartender to Lone Stars. Lone Star? <laughs> and I'll go, hi, Margot. I loved you in Wolf of Wall Street. Especially your feet. No, that wouldn't no. work. <laughs> Dude, see, we'd fuck it up. We'd fuck it up. She's unobtainable. You can't, she, you can't approach Margot Robbie. What would you say, Tony? Yeah, How? come on, Tony. What you got? All right, here we go. <clears throat> hey, Tony. Hi. Oh, no, hi there. Oh, she's another? I, I walk up next okay. to her. She's having would, a drink. And I would go, uh, whatever she's having. And then I would take it, take take a sip of it. And then just spit it out in her face and be like, you have bad fucking taste. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll just like, gaslight her. You gaslight Margot Robbie? Yeah, because... You would... Uh, that might work. Actors, that actors, might actors. work, yeah. yeah they need and the then, approval, and yeah. Goes, and then she goes, what's that about? And I go, you, you're you going to wear that out? 
You're gonna wear wow, this? Wow, you're negging Margot Robbie right wow. Why not? Why not? <laughs> That's the only move. Because I know being nice wouldn't work. Nah, it wouldn't work. So I would just neg her and be like, hey, I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm glad they didn't give you a lot of lines because you would have fucked up that movie. Yo, you want to know what's funny? I actually, like, I accidentally negged an actress once. Um, I was, I accidentally did. Also, dude, what a horrible dude, word. Like, it's yeah, such a yeah, bad yeah. word. No, but that's anyway, what I did. But yeah. uh, it was an accident. I wasn't trying to hook up with this girl. So there was, I went to this a house party and it was just really nice in the Hollywood Hills whatever blah blah and there's these actresses there and I met this girl and she's very go she's gorgeous and I was like oh hey what do you do she's like oh I'm an actress I was like oh cool are you anything I've seen and she was like yeah I was in the uh, M. Night Shyamalan movie the one in uh, the elevator one with the, the devil oh, lady yeah, yeah, yeah. and she was oh, like oh I love that movie yeah so I, I was and I was like Oh, that's embarrassing. And she was like, what? I was like, M. Night Shyamalan movie? They haven't been good since The Sixth Sense. <laughs> she starts crying. <laughs> Dude, I made this girl cry. She like realized it right there. She didn't know. She thought she was killing it. Yeah, find out the one with the elevator. The one, type of Is the it uh, devil it's, something? Yeah, devil. It's right there. It's called devil, isn't yeah, it? Look yeah, look up the IMDb. I want to I wanna show you this girl. It's right there. Yeah, devil IMDb. And I want to show you how gorgeous this girl is. Like you were right, it only got six point three. It was a, a shitty movie. Um, see. It, oh, yeah, oh, that, that, it, the one with the the foreign name, Bojana. No, yeah, that's young who's, woman. She played I'm a, young woman. I'm a sucker for like Satan. So look at it. this. This oh, is smoke beautiful. show. She's wow. gorgeous. I made her cry. Jesus. I made this woman cry. Close, close this real quick. Let's look at her. Oh my god. Let's look at oh her credits god, real Neil. quick. Let's look at her credits real quick. I can't believe it. I didn't know. I, didn't, I, was, I wasn't trying to be a dick. I was just like, oh, that's, that's embarrassing. I'm nice. Shyamalan. That sucks. Like, you're not in any real movies. And I wasn't trying to be a dick. You're not in any real movies? What because of you, she had to work with Mel Gibson. Yeah, <laughs> God damn it. Because of me. I made Wait. her cry. Wow. What else? What has she been since 2010? Go, yeah, go to the filmography as an actress. Go just to, just to actress. Yeah. She's done MacGyver. The TV series that got canceled because of you? She was in one episode. <laughs> Birds of Prey? She was in Shameless. That's cool. She's in a few episodes of Shameless. It's a good show. You, I'm also, sorry, Bojana Novakovic. Also, our, I mean, I don't know about Neil. My acting, my MDB is zero. No, I have so, nothing either. You know, and, and like, <laughs> I, I was, I just thought it would be kind of funny to like make fun of M Night Shyamalan movies with her. Yeah, I thought it'd be kind of funny. Right, like she's in on the joke. Yeah, I thought she'd be in on, but she didn't. Get, she she didn't know. know. She didn't That's know. So she funny. like had a bunch of yes people telling her like you're killing here in the M Night Shyamalan movie. Yeah, and I was the first person to be like, oh, "That's fucking stupid." What else did did she I, talk to you after that or no? She was like, "Huh?" <laughs> she like got really, and then she was. I saw her crying. I saw her crying like five minutes later. Oh crying, my god! Dude. Hey, you want to know? You want to know what's crazy? I made her cry. I made her. Well, no, you know look how gorgeous she is. You want to know what's crazy? Yeah. The twist is she didn't actually give a shit about the comment, and she just wanted you to feel bad. Yeah, that's that my shot. Yeah, twist. It was the look how gorgeous she is, wow. dude. Gorgeous, Stun yeah. stunning, stunning. I was. At, and you broke her heart for no reason. I don't know. I did that. Short. Well, I thought it would be kind of no, funny. No, you were like, just we were, telling I, the truth. You were telling I, the truth. I was telling the truth, and I thought we would laugh about it. Like, ha ha, M Night Shyamalan movie. Yeah, they're stupid. Ha ha. ha. Yeah. But she was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess they are bad movies. <laughs> she didn't know. What else did he do? M Night Shyamalan. He did a bunch of Inception? stinkers after. No, no, he didn't. That's Christopher Nolan. Oh, Christopher, Christopher Nolan. Nolan. Um, no, M Night Shyamalan did a bunch of stinkers after Six Sense. Signs was okay. Then he the did village. like knowing. Did he do knowing? He yeah, did. He, he did, did the know. happening. The happening. The, the happening. Which was great. It's fun. I watch it every year. I haven't seen it. It's dumb. I hear it's, it's dumb. It's fun though. It's I actually didn't hate that devil movie. No, I didn't hate it. It wasn't bad. So you lied to? Yeah, I did lie. It wasn't the, terrible. The visit is fantastic. I'm, oh, the visit! I've been wanting it's it with the grandparent. It's yeah, like the one where it's like Amish people or some shit. Lady in the Water's trash. Lady in the Water was oh, so. I ass. heard old was really bad. Old is silly. I wanted to see old. I old was, is silly. Old is something I was like, gonna watch on a plane. Yeah, that's you know? a great. It's a plane movie, right? Yeah. I saw Split. I didn't hate Split. No. No, you know the thing was like I feel like once he did Sixth Sense and uh, have you heard Nate Bargatze's joke about the Sixth Sense? No. One of the greatest jokes ever. He was like, the whole movie, it's like uh, Bruce Willis is like talking to his wife and she like won't listen to him, blah, blah. And at the end of the movie, you find out he's been dead the whole time. He's like, and that was the big reveal. It's like, you would, we, you made the, the audience believe that 
a wife was just ignoring her husband for like six months. We were just like, that's normal. <laughs> you know? And then he's like, Dan, you're like, oh shit. He's like, you just thought the other shit was normal? Or you just like talk to him for a year? So funny. The boys, I think this was a great episode. That was fun, like man. Thank you for having thanks me. For, yeah, thanks thank for coming you, on, Neil. Yes, um, of course. Would you like to... Dude, yeah, where, where can people find you? Uh, uh, plug your you? you know, Instagram, um, YouTube, wherever you can watch all my stand up, follow me, and you can see all my tour dates there, neilnada.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm here for another week. And uh, if you're around, I mean, I don't know when this, when does it come out? This comes tomorrow? out tonight. Tomorrow. Yeah, okay, cool. Cut, yeah. yeah. I'm here till Friday. So I got shows all around Austin this week. So come go check see, me out. Go see him. Fuck yeah. For show. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you can find right, me at Comedian Tony Casillas like always. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It's been going up, and it really helps us uh, get more people to listen to the episode. And uh, thank you guys for listening, and thank you guys for the positive messages. We love you, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Yep, Sean Riley Comedy on Instagram. And, um, yeah, give us a review. It helps fucking five stars. I, I dragged this out. Yeah. <laughs> I really Five stars. Yeah. Treat right, like an or, Uber. <laughs> a good Uber. That doesn't talk to you. Also, everybody send Josh. It's his birthday yesterday. It was his birthday. Hey. And his quinceanera. So send him, <laughs> send him a bunch of uh, I love yous to Josh Cabazzo. Venmo, Venmo me. I'll, send, I'll pass it along. Yeah, Venmo to us Josh. to pass it to Joshy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.